Yeah, my, my gratitude are getting really popular, guys. It wouldn't surprise me if you guys are getting my, my shorts on your fucking videos. Alright, well, let's try out this new horror game. You're here to slay the princess? Don't believe her lies. Wait, are you telling me it's a game about mommy? Oh, let me, let me, let me, let me, get a life, you fat fuck! Let me see the trailer, guys. You're supposed to save her. You're supposed to slay her. Or she'll... We're supposed to save her. You're supposed to slay her, or she'll go on to destroy everything. Do you not understand what everything means? You poor thing. We both know this isn't you. See? What the She's fuck? not a monster. She pries the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. I'll try to make it quick. What is she? What? I, I, guys, I can fix her. Guys, I can fix her. Guys, 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 I can fix her, for real. Her guys. eyes are bigger than her chest. I mean... Wait, Q, as an update for the game? Nah! Oh, there we go, it's been fixed. Guys, I can fix her, guys, guys, I can fix her, trust. Guys. Listen, guys, the reality is, guys, is that if you're insane and you're a guy, no one wants you. And you're insane, you're a girl? Hmm. You might be surprised. There, there, is, some, there, there is, a, is a handful of adventurers out there. <laughs> you know what they say, guys? A real pirate swims or navigates through any seas. By the way, guys, before I open the game, would you guys like this email to be... Oh, hold on. What the fuck happened? My game crashed. I think my game just crashed. Guys, would you like this to be an emote? Yes. Wait, what happened to the game? Hello? The game is not responding. Oh. Crazy in the head, crazy in the bed. Shut up, dude. Stop talking, please. Alright. Did you guys see it? There we go. Whatever horrors you may find in these dark spaces have a heart and see through them. There is no premature endings, and there are no wrong decisions. Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Slay the princess. I love story. All right, let's see the controls. I, I, I ain't reading all that. I'm reading. I ain't reading all that. Not gonna lie. Is there no settings? Wait, there's no settings. I can't slay anyone, unfortunately. Hey guys, don't worry, chatters. You one day you will gonna find your cute girlfriend. Listen, guys, don't worry. Trust me. One day you're gonna find the mommy that you were looking for all along. Do not, do not fret. Okay, I don't know why this shit's not working. Oh, there we go. One day all of you guys are gonna find your respective partners. You're gonna find some hot girl that's gonna love you for who you are, chatters. Trust me. One day. But it might not be today. It might not be tomorrow, it might not be in a year, but it will be worth long, long... It's like me, for example, right? Me, Chatters, I already found the love of my life. Myself. And Gura Gura. But she doesn't know it yet, though. It's fine, don't worry. She doesn't know it yet, she doesn't know it yet, but soon. Soon when I become famous enough, so she talks to me, one day I'll become... The fuck? One day I'll become famous enough that she has to recognize me. And she's gonna be like, You were my biggest fan all along. Okay, I need to stop skittling. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's it. I need to stop skittling. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. Let's just start the game. Fuck it. Chapter 1 The Hero and the Princess. 
you're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin, and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. Okay. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. Okay. Um, let's see, we got three options, we got it. Um, we got a lot of options, what the fuck? Jesus Christ! Okay, we got it. The end of the world, what are you talking about? Have you considered that maybe she's... Okay. I'm talking about the end of everything as we know it. No more birds, no more trees, and perhaps most problematically of all, no more people. That's good though. You have to put an end to her. No more people? But how can I produce locked away in a basement and the world? I mean, honestly, let's ask, let's ask more questions. Don't linger on the specifics. You have a job to do here. Just get in there and do what needs to be done. We're all counting on you. Wait, the narrator's kind of sus. Huh? Do you have any evidence to back this up? Look, you're already on the path that leads to the cabin. Why would you be here if it weren't to complete a very important don't care. task? Six don't months care. already! Maybe this WTF! You might care. as well reach the I end of your care. journey. What? Have you considered that maybe she, the only reason she's going to end the world is because she's locked up? While I appreciate the mental exercise, we are running up against a bit of a ticking clock. Shut up, bro! Answer my questions, you fuck! Nevertheless, let me assure you, the princess is locked up because she is dangerous. She is not dangerous because she's locked up. Mm. And before you decide to waste even more of our time by asking how I know that, let me suggest a more pragmatic lens through which to view this situation. Okay. Causality doesn't matter here, because the end result is the same no matter what led us up to this point. If the princess leaves the cabin, the world will end. There is no changing that. It's no use arguing semantics over a metaphorical chicken or egg, because the egg is hatched and it's about to ruin everything. Mm. Unless, of course, you do your job and slay her. Slay her! I mean, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. killing, the, killing a princess seems kind of bad though, doesn't it? Can someone, can someone else do this? Oh, if only that were the case. But I don't make the rules. I have to say, I'm surprised at your reluctance thus far. How? But unfortunately for the both of us, you're the only one who can pull this off. Like I said, I don't make the rules. No matter how much I wish I did. Do I get some sort of reward for doing this? Yes, but you'll have to slay her before you get it. Boo! I see. Um, maybe we should explore the other options. Forget this, I'm not doing this. Have you considered that maybe I'm okay with the world ending? Of course I haven't. Why would I even consider that? Nobody wants the world to end. Okay, what if I'm an emo? I mean, maybe some people do. What about Hitler? Nihilists, or very, very evil people, but surely you're not one of those, right? How do you know? Can you at least tell me the prize while- It's a secret, but I think you'll like it. It's a special reward, just for you. And whatever you think it might be, I can promise you it's going to be even better than your wildest imagination. Dude, if you're not gonna tell me- No! Okay, let's see. We got a lot of options. Alright guys, forget about the- Okay, we got- Look! I'll go to the cabin and talk to her, and if she's as bad as you say, then, then maybe I'll slay her. But I'm not committing to anything until I have the chance to meet her face to face. Dude, I'm already fucking cooming over this girl, I already know. I already know it's gonna be a my goodness gracious moment. Okay, I'm sold, let's get this over with. Uh, okay, thanks for telling me what to do. Sweet, I always wanted to, to off a monarch. Be la revolution. I guess we'll just have to see what happens, but a word of warning. Just you remember, Rachel, if you slay her, the body will still be warm for a while. Dude, what? Lights. Shut up, bro. And the more you listen to her honeyed words, the harder it'll be to pull yourself out. Fucking bo? Then each and every one of us is doomed. You're a game anyways. It doesn't matter if you're doomed, bro. So sure. Go talk to her. 
See how that turns out for all of us. <sighs> Man, you're so dramatic. It can't be that bad. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. She can't be that bad. We're not going to go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Slay? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Wait, wait the narrator's schizophrenic. But he's to get into the cabin. Alright, let's see. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. Dude, the art's kind of cool, though. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Okay. I mean, I should take the blade. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. Sure. Let's go to the basement. Uh-oh. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, Slaying her is probably doing how- I wish this game was louder. No? Maybe it's a way I can make it louder? No, it's full volume. Maybe I can make it louder for you guys. Yeah, there's no settings. Or is there? Her voice. Oh wait, there is settings. Yeah, but it's already max volume. Follow us on Twitter. No way. No. Okay, maybe I can make the game lo louder for you guys, so at least you guys can have more enjoy and hear it better. There we go. I made it louder for you guys. Guys, I'm not gonna kill the bitch. Who's there? Oh. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the Is one that better? in charge down here. Is that better? Is the audio better for you guys? Or no? Yep. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Hi! <laughs> hey, I think I'm here to kill you? What, what, what should I say? Dude, I should I hit him with that? Hi! You know what? I knew she was a little crazy when the handjob felt like she was trying to open a bottle of pills. What in the fuck? You see with the with the high, with the with the, you know, the double dot and the tree, you know? The, 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 oof, oof. Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. Oh my god, wait, she got the voice though. The only sword I would need to slay her with is already in my pants poking out. Guys, can you guys stop being coomers for a second, bro? Like, guys, the game just stopped. We haven't even seen the fucking girl, man. Chill. We haven't even seen the girl yet and you guys are already, like, being weird about it. How about we wait first, we see her. And then we decide whether it's weird or not. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. Oh my goodness gracious. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? She's kind of bad though. Focus on the task at hand. Task? Like among us? And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? Oh my god, wait, she got one of those mommy voices. Why? What's up with that? Uh, what? No way. Why would you ever think about that? Okay, yeah, you caught me. I'm here to slay you. No. Oh. <laughs> no. Oh. Fix chat. Give me a second. I'm trying to decide where to put you guys. So I don't want. I don't want the dialogue. So maybe. Like this? Maybe like this, so you guys can still see yourself, but it's not blocking the dialogue. There we go. Do I hit it with the- No, oh! I haven't decided yet, I just need to talk. No, oh! Then drop the knife. We should. It'll go a long way to building trust with her. Uh-oh. No, uh-oh. Don't you dare. 
It's uh -oh. fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster, but killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. I mean, I wouldn't mind killing someone in cold blood. If it's like Hitler or something. Or like baby Hitler. Okay, should we, okay, should we drop the knife? Okay, we need an emergency meeting. We need an emergency meeting in the chat. Should we drop the knife? Okay, maybe I have an idea. Maybe that maybe the play is to put the chat here. Hold on. Let me just do seven hundred. Let me like eight hundred. There we go. Can I make the chat smaller? And Teho! Guys, what do you guys think? Do we drop the knife? I mean we can just drop it, right? If we drop the knife, there's no way she can just grab it anyways. Guys, I'm not gonna get my I'm not gonna die. I'm gonna drop the knife. We're not even close to her, bro. Don't worry. Guys, we gotta build trust. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clap. Okay. Thank you. Maybe now we can just talk. Sex! Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. She has some big ol' eyes. Oh my goodness gracious. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. Just make sure you don't forget about the blade on the floor. You're going to need it. Mm. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Dude, I just realized. This is Clementine's voice. Right? Am I crazy? How you get it? It's Clementine's voice. No? From uh, The Walking Dead. That's what I think, I think. Yeah, when she's like an adult. Remember when, like in the games in the last seasons? Um, it's pretty awkward. Uh, a relationship? Are you coming on for me? Oh my god, we have so many options, bro! Uh... Do you know why I'm here to kill you? How long have you been down here? What's your name? She hesitates before answering. You can address me as your royal highness. Oh, maybe not. Maybe or her right. majesty. Any honorific should do, really. Note the lack of what about mommy? Stop staring at me with them big owl eyes! Oh, uh, yeah, it's pretty awkward. I know. I just said that. Now why are you here to kill me? Uh, I have my reasons. Do you think I'll just come here to kill you without even knowing why? That was ridiculous. You're supposed to end the world. Don't just tell her that. Why do you mean no? <laughs> Is that why they threw me down here? But I don't want to hurt anyone. I like the world. I think. Hmm. I don't remember much about it, to be honest. I've been down here a long time. How do you eat food? Just Where? how long has she been down here? Wait, how, how does she shit? I didn't even saw a shit bucket. If I'm supposed to be capable of ending the world, then how did I wind up here, chained to a wall? Have they told you why I'm allegedly so dangerous? I mean, because you're kind of bad. That's what I'm. That's what I'm hearing. Uh the flag. What are you going to do if I let you out? I haven't told them now. I was hoping you will tell me. No, but I'm sure they have the reasons for keeping that information secret from me. <laughs> Clueless. No, and if I'm being honest, I'm more inclined to trust you if I'm inclined to do it. Guys, I don't want to be a simp though. I was hoping you would tell me. Ending the world seems like an awful lot for just one person to do. I wouldn't even know where to start. Hmm. I believe her. She doesn't have to know how to destroy the world to be capable of doing it. Well then tell us, you fucking narrator. At the end of the day, whatever the two of us have going on down here is about trust. What? 
Whoever sent you to slay me claimed I was a threat to the world, but they didn't tell you why. That doesn't sound right to me, and I don't think it sounds right to you either. Otherwise, we'd be killing each other instead of talking. She has a point. There's a reason I've been telling you to question the situation, and there's a reason you've listened. Am I getting gaslit? So, I could tell you that I'd lead a quiet life in the woods, or that I'd open an orphanage, or that I'd do any other number of good things that I'm sure you think you want to hear. Not really, I wanted to hear that you're bad as fuck. <laughs> but you don't really know me, do you? What can my word possibly be worth in a situation like this? She brings a good point. She's right about one thing. Her word isn't worth anything. Like I said, it's all about trust. Blind trust. So do you trust me, the prisoner, the victim, the princess clearly incapable of ending when the When do world, we see Fee? Or do you trust whoever put me here? She's wrong. This isn't about trust. This is about risk. We stand to lose everything, all for the sake of Why is he whispering? And a subjugating monarch, no less. I want a sex ending. How will I get you out of here? How long have you been here? How long have you been here? Let's ask Too her. long. Too long. How would I get you out of here? You can't. Don't bother. I'm guessing you don't have Never the key trust then. woman! I'm sure there's a key somewhere around here, and if there isn't. Guys, it's a man. You know, it's a good old there's a good old story that says. Can that, you kill her now? No, I'm not gonna kill her. Guys, mosquitoes. See, every, us humans, we look at rats, right? And we think rats are stupid for falling for traps, correct? Like, have you ever put like a tra rat trap and then there's like a dead rat in the trap dead and you caught it and you realize that the reality is that the rat fell for the stupidest trap that for you is stupid. It's the same thing here, right? Can you blame me, the rat, for seeing the circle and cheese in front of me and falling for the rat? I mean for the trap? I don't know, man. I don't think so. I don't know, man. You can't really blame me for this one. That's all I'm saying. Holy fuck, and I thought I was stupid. Guys, she doesn't even look that bad. Maybe she's not even bad. Well, we can always put that knife to good use. Mm. Her sharp eyes set on the edge of the blade. She isn't suggesting what I think she's suggesting. She is. I'm sure of it. Okay, we talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? I mean, I wish, but this game is not gonna, it's not gonna let me. You know why you're here. Just a woman, that's all the proof I need off with her head. Guys, no. Sit on me. No. I'm here to get you out of here, except the chains. I'm going to keep you locked away down here. At least we know for a bit we can... I mean... I'm getting you out of here, except the chain slippers. I'm gonna keep Rachel, you locked stop. away down here. At least you are using the wrong head to think. We can get to know better each other and decide what to do. I think the third one makes the most sense, right? I feel like we don't have enough information. You know, we don't have enough information. If I kill the bitch, I might choose the third one. That seems like a pretty good compromise. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. One way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. You can make it easier for both of us if you help. Hey, I don't like that attitude. And if you don't... Just end the monarchy already in the luck check for a senate. <laughs> no, you don't want. I can promise that you'll come to regret that decision. Are you threatening me, you stupid bitch? Are you threatening me? Didn't we just have a conversation about how I'm gonna murder you and now you're threatening me? You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes it's the right one.
so guys, should we help? Okay, real talk. Slay or okay, let's get you out of here. Examine the chains. What do you guys think? One or two? Guys, yeah, maybe she... Dude, she raised her voice. I agree. I agree. That's bad. But she, she's kind of hot, though. Like, she might kill me, but she's kind of hot, though. What do you mean Hitler was hot too? No, he fucking wasn't. What are you guys saying? Stop being horny and step her already weird. No, guy. no, no. I'm gonna be horny. Okay, let's get you out of here. Except the change. Some men don't fall <sighs> for it. <sighs> I'm going. I'm falling for it. You can fix her. That's what I'm saying. Good. I'm glad you've come to your senses. You're making a huge mistake. Am I though? No. You're doing the right thing. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. If you don't have the key, maybe you should go looking for it. I'm sure it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any idea besides, besides me cutting you out of here? I'm going to check upstairs. Maybe the key's still around. If not, maybe I can find something to break you free. I'll be here. Oh my god, you yes sir. You make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock uh -oh. sliding into place. Is someone else here? Uh oh. They locked me here? Your shouts and pleas are met with silence. You're here to slay the princess and you won't leave until the task is done. I got locked in the basement too? You try the door, but it's locked from the outside. I'll repeat myself once again. You're here to slay the no. princess. No, guys. And you won't leave until the task is done. Guys, 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 guys. The narrator's evil. The narrator's evil. The narrator's evil. The narrator's evil. Rachel, if you let her out, she will give you a hand job while you are a little spoon. Guys, I'm not a sim. I'm not a sim. But the narrator's evil. The narrator has to be evil. You make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. No! Don't know what to do, bro! Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, she's, didn't they? She's not evil. She's not evil. The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Guys, 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 there's no way she's evil, bro. Guys, there's no way. There's no way she's evil. Guys, okay. Don't you find it really suspicious? That when I decided to go look for the key, they locked me in a room, a rubber room, full with princes. I don't know, man. Kind of weird. I don't know. I think it's kind of weird that the narrator, the narrator is locking me inside the fucking basement. It's kind of odd. And honestly, she's kind of hot, bro. And like, if worse comes to worse, maybe she, maybe I save her, and I become her slave forever to the day I die. I mean, it's, my choices are not that bad. Rachel, what has become of you trying to save the crazy bitches of the world? Or the world ends? I'm gonna say the prince. Uh, okay, one or two. What do you guys think? Okay, let's 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 get the chat input here. One or two. What do you guys think? She is fifteen. No, she's not. No, she's not. No, she literally isn't. I'm seeing more ones. I'm seeing more ones and a couple of meals. That means everyone here is in the same. I, I, it means that everyone here, everyone here in the chat, is on the same level as me. Everyone's kneeling, meaning I'm right. Save the princess. Against. Oh! You place the blade against the princess's arm, 
just above the massive, unyielding chain. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, oh. only quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. We did it! We saved her! She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. Six ending! No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. The hand is still warm! No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. I'm being forced? Watch me. No! This game! Warn her. Stop that. I thought this was a little too easy. Your body lunges forward to sink the blade into her back, but the princess swiftly moves out of the way before- It wasn't me! Stop it! Stop resisting me! I am trying to get you out of here alive! The blade. Move. The. Blade. No! You're doing your best to help me, aren't you? I can see the conflict in your eyes. I'll make this quick. She steps forward and pries the blade from your rigid hands. Maybe I'll see you in another life. No! He's gonna kill me! And then she slits your throat. Whoa! Her face remains unchanged as she watches you collapse to the ground, blood flowing from your butchered neck. She killed me? This is the end. Isn't it? Or is it? Afraid it is. Everything goes dark, and you die. I hope it was worth it. You're on a path. Saving her worked out real well, how you said. Of that path is a cabin. We're and in back. the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't. It will be the end of the world. Can I get that feeling of the job? <laughs> oh, hold on, give me a second. Fucking hell. Nicely done, Rachel. Next time, let's think with our brain and not our cock. I know that's hard for you. Guys, guys, no, but we're in a time loop, bro. She saved me. You get that feeling of deja vu. A terrible sense of deja vu. No, you don't have that. This is the first time either of us have been here. Really? Don't forget what he did to us the last time around. I wouldn't trust a word out of his mouth. There's got to be a way out of here. For us and for the princess. Oh, my boys are talking. Wait, trying. I have schizophrenia. No way. A new power. I'm inclined to agree. If he doesn't remember what happened last time, maybe it's best to keep it that way. You know I can hear you too. Right? It's going to be a lot harder than you think to keep secrets from me. Fuck. And as far as trying to help her goes, need I remind you how catastrophically dangerous she is to the world at large? I mean, what is surely this will go well for you if you go down this simp route again, clueless. Get the is evil. This is more than just a Jabu, I'm pretty sure. We could go back and forth on this forever, and it won't get you any closer to doing your job and saving the world. I'm not going to just agree to disagree. You underestimate, narrator, how unbelievably much of a simp I am. Turn around and leave? What happens if I say turn around and leave? Let's assume I'm telling the truth, and all this really has already happened. Why should I listen to you? Those are two very different questions, but fine. I'll indulge you if that's what it takes to get you moving. Okay. Let's say for a moment that this really is the second time you've met me, or, or at least a version of me. Okay. If you're back here, I'm assuming you died, which probably only happened because you didn't listen to me. Really? The absolute irony. Well, that's one way to put it, I guess. You really don't remember what happened last time, do you? practically forced the princess to kill us. That doesn't sound like the sort of thing I'd do. 
Which is honestly all the more reason for you to not buy into whatever self-delusions the three of you are crafting. But this is a thought experiment, so I suppose I'll continue to give you the benefit of the doubt. Is he gaslighting If I did, practically force the princess to kill you. It was probably for a good reason. Did you try and free her? Did you say something really mean to me? Because if I really did what you said I did, you probably deserved it. I'm getting gaslit! You're professional, after all. This is like this is like dating a girl. Sure you are. Anyway, I believe your second question was, What's the point of doing anything? If you're asking that, it sounds to me like you're making the rather dangerous assumption that your actions last time around didn't have any consequences. What do you mean? What do you mean? Of course there weren't any consequences. You forced the princess to kill us and now everyone's right back where they started. That sounds pretty consequence free to me. Yes, but in this purely hypothetical scenario, that begs the question of how you got back here. Did time simply rewind itself? Or were you instead transported to a different world in time? Eh? If it's the latter, what do you think happened after you died? I respawn. Do you think the people there lived happily ever after? Or do you think that the princess, left unhindered, brought about the end to everyone and everything, just like I told you she would? But we haven't seen this! What a conveniently ambiguous group of things for her to ruin. For all we know, the princess left the cabin and never saw another soul. Oh, how I wish that were the case. Why do I have boys in my head? If weren't a certain inevitable threat to the world, the four of us wouldn't be here. And yet... Four of us! I, am, I have four personalities. You're talking in circles. No, I'm talking in facts. Let's go to the cabin. A warning. I'd rather eat a bullet than listen to another five minutes of this narrator yapping schizo. No. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Well, she hasn't done anything bad! Don't believe a word she says. Yes, yes, don't believe a word she says. Just go in, take the knife, and do what you're supposed Boys, to. Boys, I'm skeptic. I'm, I'm actually just a schizo. Did you just say wink out loud? <laughs> what is this fucking game? No, I didn't. Wink. <laughs> just ignore this clown and focus on the princess. No, 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 the skeptic boy is just making a good point. Let's see. The interior of the cabin is less a cozy woodland retreat Wait, it's different. and more like a dungeon. A few pathetic wisps of starlight attempt to illuminate the cold, uninviting stone walls, and thick, wrought iron bars barricade the windows, reminding anyone who enters that this is a prison. Hmm. The only furniture of note is an iron table, bolted to the floor, a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is it's your It's a multiversus, implant. real. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Like Avengers. Okay, should we grab- okay. So you didn't say anything about the mirror on the wall. This whole cabin is different from last time. Let's approach the mirror first. You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. It's a mirror. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. You reach forward and I'm a rub wolf? your hand against the cabin wall. <laughs> I know how ridiculous you look right now. <laughs> but there was a mirror a second ago. And now it's gone. If he doesn't want us to know about it, it must be important. We should keep our eyes peeled. Maybe it'll be back. Ah. Should we take the blade? Wait, he can't kill me if I don't take the blade. I'm afraid I'm going to insist we take the blade. We're in a dangerous situation and I'm not letting us go down there without a weapon. Are you sure? She killed us with it last time. What if she turns it against us again? Yes, I'm sure. And I've already got a plan for that. Dude, okay, I don't know. I trust my... I show my voices, dude. Sometimes, sometimes... Dude, it's just like... Okay, have you guys ever been in... Have you guys ever been, like, in in public? Right? Like, in a zoo or something. And suddenly, like, you, like your Spider-Man senses, like, activate. 
and you feel like something is wrong is going on, even if you know for a fact that nothing is going wrong, you know? And, and, and that voice in your head, like the gut feeling, yeah, the gut feeling, exactly. And the gut feeling is telling you, you, you should not do this because blank. I don't know, man. All I'm saying is, I'm not schizophrenic. I'm not schizophrenic, right? But sometimes listening to the little voice in your head can save your life. So this time, I'm gonna trust the skeptic because the skeptic might be just spitting facts. Still with those past life delusions, are we? I hope part of that plan is don't give the world any monstrosity your only weapon. Because unless you've decided to arm the princess, I don't think you need to worry about her having a weapon. Peachy, we'll be fine. <laughs> I don't know, man. I like my. St I la I'm not. I'm not. A, I. I don't have. No. I'm no, guys. I'm not have personality disorder. It's not what I have, guys. Just because. Just because you guys see schizophrenia as an ill illness, it's a power for me, bro. That means I have the power of talking to multiple people at the same time. We're not the same. Just because you have issues with it doesn't mean that I have issues with it. We're not similar. Okay. I'm trusting you. Okay, we're taking the knife. Got a feeling in public. You should not be racist. You should not be racist. You should not be racist. That's not what I think. I'm taking the knife. You take the blade from the table. It will be difficult to slay the princess and save the world without a weapon. You're right. Thanks. I mean it. Yeah, I'm, tr I'm trusting the skipso. The skeptic, rather. I'm trusting the skeptic. Oh god, I'm trusting the skeptic. Dude, the skeptic is spinning, bro. The door to the basement creaks. Wait, open, it has light. Feeling an old stone staircase. A few sputtering torches attempt to vaguely illuminate your path, ah. dancing across glimmering patches of slimy moss on the stone steps. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice, harsh but controlled, carries up the stairs. Is that a visitor I hear? Please, come downstairs. It's been a while since I've had company. Yes, my queen. I kneel. Does she remember us? You walk down the stairs oh my and your God. eyes with the princess. She looks up at you, the heavy collar around her neck clanking loudly as she moves, the chains binding both her wrists to the far wall, joining the metallic chorus as she adjusts her hands. Wait, why does she look lap. younger? So much for cutting her out of here. Do you hear yourself right now? Cutting her out of here never should have been on the table. Have you noticed the empty no, chain on the wall? Odd that in a place where everything seems to serve a distinct purpose, True. it would be something so obviously useless. He's a tail! That was there last time too, wasn't it? Was it? it if was. I wasn't hard before, I sure am now. Guys, shut up, losers. What an interesting development. Why don't you have a seat? The two of us should chat before you bury that thing in my heart. She looks like she's a part of the BDS. Did it. It looks like a BDSM fucking... <laughs> you know, the fucking... Oh. I'm not sure. I don't need to... Know. I, I'm not sure. I need to do much of anything. Do you see how log up she is? I'm just going to leave her here. Let's just sit with her. Let's see what she has to say. You step towards the oh, princess. Oh, no, she's not younger. She's the same. She stops you before you get too close, holding up one shackled hand. Well, she said hi. There is fine. I'd prefer we keep some distance until we've sorted this out. What do you want? That's reasonable. We do have a weapon. Might as well put her at ease. Sit. If her age is on the clock, she is old enough no, for the cop. No, shut up, shut up. No, no, no. Stop being weird. Stop being weird. Sit where you... I mean, should I sit closer? No, I should sit where, I, where... Sit where you were told to sit. You do as she asks and sit on the floor. Still a good distance away from her. Thank you. Now, what are your intentions for me? I mean... But my intentions? What do you mean? I've been here before. I am the only one who remembers that. All these voices in my head! Just said to talk to a real one. Okay, well, I, we should probably ask what happened. Oh, are we talking about that? I thought we weren't going to give away the game. But sure. I'll fill you in. What? Nothing happened. You died. I went upstairs. I couldn't leave. I found myself in a new place in chains again. More of them. Ah. And now you're back. 
Is that really all she knows? <laughs> the boy was skeptic. It's not like we have much of a clue about how things work. True. And she's probably even more in the dark than we are. You're looking at me like I might be hiding something. I'm not. I guess it's possible she really doesn't know anything. Maybe both of us are stuck in this loop without any idea why or how. Wait, why is there a chain in her ass? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Rick talked to Cole, never mind. See, I was, gonna, I was gonna talk about how... I was gonna talk about how she actually had a tail. I guess what you said back in the woods really was true. As much as I would like to remain in denial, it's no use. This has complicated things. It's complicated things how, exactly? Ideally, this was supposed to be one and done. You go to the cabin, you heroically slay the princess, and in the process you save the entire world from being damned to oblivion. What? The situation right now, where you're getting a second shot at things, is a contingency. Like marble? A contingency for what? For you failing, obviously. And you being here means that things are going to be a lot harder than they were. I really shouldn't say anything else, I'm just going to make it worse. Just... Good luck. Now hold on, if you knew this could happen, why didn't you believe us back in the woods? Why lay out all those hypotheticals? We didn't have to talk in circles. I needed you to believe this was your first time here, even if that wasn't the truth. What? I hoped if I pushed back hard enough, I could cram this seeping mess back into the bottle. Hmm... Something is very subtle with the narrator. And maybe I wanted to be the first version of me that you met. I didn't want to be confronted by the alternative. What? That's pathetic. <laughs> okay, the voice of Skeptic is the most base character in the fucking... The most the, the voice of a skeptic is the most base character in the entire show. I never said I wasn't. I get it. It would be pretty upsetting, wouldn't it? To know that you might not be the first version of yourself. At least we can remember what happened before. Seems like we should count ourselves lucky for that. Hmm. Exactly. He gets it. You're lucky. So don't waste that luck by messing it up again. Alright? Moving on. Why is it important for us to be ignorant? How is it ever helpful to be in the True! Dark? True! Did he speak? The more I say, the more your mind will swim into dangerous waters. Even saying that is too much. Huh? Your success hinges on you having imperfect information. For the sake of the entire world, you need to accept that. Hmm... What? I won't. Ha! <laughs> True, me neither. Fine. But you won't get another word from me on the matter. Yeah, sure. We'll see about that. Just give it a rest, this isn't helping. Focus. This is a serious situation. You shouldn't be daydreaming. I'm not daydreaming, I'm just, I'm just a schizophrenic dude. <laughs> I'm just literally a schizophrenic. You were asking about my intentions earlier, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Mean by that? Yes. A lot of intentions. Oh, long, long you have a mind. knife. What are you going to do with it? Why are you here? Mm. There isn't a keyhole in these shackles, and I don't see any keys in your hands either. So I'm afraid my only way out is another surgical removal. What? Is she forgetting about the shackle on her neck? No way I'm gonna cut her neck. Or does she think she'd survive a beheading? Oh. You're right. Maybe she's delusional. All the more reason- SHUT UP NARRATOR! SHUT THE HELL UP! Unless she really could survive. Though I suppose you could just be here to kill me. But I don't think that's in either of our best interests. You mean no sex? How am I supposed to cut you out? I don't- I need, I, If you didn't notice you have a head and a shackle. I mean, I see. No, no. Like I trust you to come any closer with that knife. All you're going to do is hand it to me, and watch me work. But she would have to cut her head off, right? She can't be suggesting that. She certainly seems confident. Maybe she knows something we don't. Or maybe you should consider the most likely scenario. She's bluffing so she can disarm you. 
What? Though if she isn't bluffing, whatever she has planned might be for her benefit alone. There's no guarantee that what's good for her is good for us. So, what should we do? I don't know. I'm just spelling out our options, listing the pros and cons. I don't know, man. The voice of Skeptic is the most base voice. I don't know. I think he's right. Then let me help you. I'll start with the cons. Oh. If you're handing her your weapon, the cons are that she might use it to escape and end the entire world. And she might use it to kill you. Now, you're fuck off, bro. No one cares. That doesn't sound great. What about the pros? There are none. Right. The pros are that we can't trust him. True. Possibly even more than we can't trust her. True. Whatever she has planned could do something to mess with what he has planned. True. Or maybe they're both screwing us over in their own ways. Okay, I don't know that one. That, that, that other chain on the wall, who's it for? I don't know, but you could always try it on. Maybe it'll fit. I hope I don't actually have to say this, but the princess watching me talk yourself in chains. We need you ambulatory if you're going to save the world. With my three voices arguing about how she can destroy the world, hoping I can eventually help her after I finish schizo. Mm. So she wanted to bark for her? Plot twist! Skeptic wants to kill the shackle. You know, I'm gonna expect the shackle. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Why the fuck do you- And why is that? Yeah, why? Do I even need to explain myself? It's a shackle and it's one without a key. Do you want to be stuck here like she is? Maybe I do want that. And what? Is it going to lock the second we put our wrist into it? I don't know. Maybe it will. He doesn't want us to look at it. That's all the reason we need to investigate. True! What if he's telling the truth? He isn't. Exactly! I am. How do we know that? Okay, what do you guys think? Okay, do we split the shackle, yes or no? One or two, one or two, what do you guys think? One or two? Yes, inspect it? Against your better judgment, you approach the chain dangling from the far wall. The princess watches you with faux disinterest as you inspect it, though she can't fully hide her curiosity. I don't want to say what I'm supposed to say next. What is that supposed to mean? It sounds uh -oh. bad. Is it bad? Yes. It's bad. Uh oh. Come out and say it then. You're just wasting time. Uh oh. Fine. As you hoist the shackle, its heft shifts within your grasp, as if pulled by some odd magnetism. Before you can so much as blink, it practically leaps from your hands, snapping around your neck. Are you serious? And, as if your situation weren't bad enough, the same magnetism repels your blade, Never which stop. is flung from Never your hand and sent skittering mind. across the Stay floor the of the top. basement. Free um, <laughs> excuse me? Yes? Are we stuck here now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> huh, so it does fit. And I guess it doesn't like your knife. We're stuck here together, aren't we? That's funny. That's kind of hot too. What are we supposed to do now? Can't even cut ourselves out. Guess we'll starve. That's horrible. It's not all bad. We learned a valuable piece of information. True. Not to touch things we specifically took. Oh. No, that there's something special about this loose chain. It's clearly important. True. So we're both stuck here. Do you know what's gonna happen? No. So we're both stuck here. Yep. Okay, dude, stop trolling me. What should we do now? Uh, what should, not one for small talk, are you? Nope. You're trolling! That's rude. At least now you can have some hot, steamy chain sex with your werewolf cock. Mods, please kill that guy, family. Find his IP too. What should we do now? Wait in silence. You and the princess wait in silence, though neither of you knows what you're waiting for. But you're waiting for something. You're waiting for anything. This is so boring. True. There must be something we can do to get out of here. 
There must be something we're missing. True. But there isn't. True. Time passes. It passes and passes and passes. And the basement of the cabin remains much the same. It is cold and silent. At least the world is safe. It isn't. You're stuck. Too far away from both the princess and your blade to do much of anything. So am I just stuck here? But she's not ending anything. She's just sitting there. Her very existence is a threat. It harms everything around it. How exactly does that work? It just does. Now here's an insult. But your line of questioning is interrupted by the passage of even more time. And after that, even more time passes again. And let me guess, the cabin remains the same. If time is passing, the cabin can't be the same. Even if the differences are small, they have to exist. So, have the water! That's just how things work. <laughs> Shut up. I suppose you're correct. Things are changing. The differences are small at first. A bit of weathering here, a bit of erosion there. But then they get larger. And larger. Hey, have you noticed that, no have you noticed that the basement's changing? I don't like small talk, remember? Still rude. What an asshole, man. You continue to wait in silence, and the cabin continues to change. The decay comes oh, faster Oh, it's decaying now. You slowly! You can see earth through holes in the stonework, and watch lichen spread along the seams of the walls. That doesn't make sense. Has our entire concept of time changed? What happened to starving? We should have died by now if the rocks around us are starting to erode. True! She hasn't starved. True! I guess she hasn't. That's also true. Am I a monster, maybe? The next gone. more silent time passes as you watch roots push themselves through the increasingly porous walls of the basement. Dirt seeps inside, flowing across the stone floor like a liquid, covering the ground and threatening to swallow you both. Oh! Time continues to pass, and pass, and pass. I'm gonna get eaten alive! Dude, what if the chain... There was a person there, and she ate the person. Or maybe... Until suddenly, there are no walls. Oh, that's cool. And then... And... I think he's gone. He's dead? Would you look at that? We made it out of the cabin, and nothing bad had to happen to either of us. So this is the outside world. It's cold. Well, you don't get a chance to respond. Somebody has taken her away, and he's left something else in her stead. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? And there's that mirror again. Why is it here? Why now? I think I, I don't I don't know where she went and I don't know how we'll go even looking for her. Let's go push the mirror. I'm begging you, don't do this. Why not? It's different now. It, it feels I don't know. Final. Uh oh, you're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. It can't be that bad, right? You approach the mirror. This, this doesn't feel right. It feels different. Final. You're right. Part of me wants the truth, but something stronger is holding me back. Fear. The voices feel small, distant as you approach. Silence. As you reach forward, they're gone. But the mirror remains. It's time for you to see what's in it. Oh my god. I'm a monster. It's the wolf inside me. You're alone in a place that is empty. It is quiet here. You are you are at the cabin. Approach her. 
Something finds me in the long quiet and brings me the gift of a fragile vessel. It's like Nico. <laughs> it's like Robin from One Kiss. <clears throat> what are you? Do you know the narrator? You are the only thing I have ever known. The space we're in is vacant. Nothing comes here but us. Ah. Uh, what are you? I am solitary lights in an empty city. What are Shiguraki, you? Shigaraki, shut up. I'm a wolf. I don't know what I am. What do you think I am? I think that you are like me. A beast? We are oceans, reduced to shallow creeks. Are you the, are you what sent me to slay the princess? I have only just now stirred to consciousness. I could not have trapped you here, and I too yearn to be free. Are you the princess? She is part of me, and part of me is her. So I guess she's like the demon inside of her, I guess. But were you always a prisoner? You're making her part of yourself. You speak in circles. Does it matter where one thing begins and another ends? Yeah, kind of. Destroy your body, attack the entity. What happens now? Nothing, as we are. But I know that there are worlds beyond us, and that we are meant to reach them. There is no exit, but this vessel is a creature of perception. She can make you forget, if only you believe her to be able to. What? Bring me more perspectives, so that I may be whole. And perhaps then we will know our freedom. Okay, make me forget. Wait, should I make myself forget? Are you scared I'll find a way to kill you? How much will I forget? How many more pieces do you I have to explore? I was sent to save the prison to stop her from destroying the world. If I help you, is that what you're going to do? You ask of things that cannot be done. To destroy is merely to reshape. Mm. To Wait, it's you? Wait, you're the voice actor? <laughs> Wait, you're the voice actor of the, of the princess? That's funny. So it was not Clementine from The Walking Dead. <laughs> you're being semantic. What are you all going to do if I help you? How can I know? I am flickers in something sprawling and unilluminated. Nah, guys, 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 nah, stop being weird, guys. Then what's wrong with you people, dude? Guys, guys. Like, dude. Like, dude. What is wrong with you people, dude? What is wrong with you people, dude? What is wrong with you motherfuckers, dude? This is why no, <laughs> this is so... <laughs> so is this sex? Is this the sex scene? I think. Okay, make me forget. She asks that I tell you to remember her. Okay. You won't. Ah! Oh my fucking god! Oh my god, dude, that's gonna fuck out on me, dude. Why was that so loud? Why was that so fucking loud, dude? Jesus Christ! Jesus fucking Christ, bro! It was so fucking loud for no reason! Everything goes dark and you die. But I'm dead. Wait, I'm back in chapter one? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin, you're here. T so I for gore. You make your way up the short path to the... We're not going to go through with this, right? 
Should I She's kill her this time? We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore. No, but what if... What if I save her twice, though? The interior of the cat blade. The door to the basement creaks open. Rip her voice soft. Hello? Is someone... This. Don't. Yes, just fall forward this. Good. You're still listening to reason. It would be better if you had a weapon, but you may you still have different voice? To walk Don't go back on your sub shit. Eyes with the princess. There's a head. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Wait, she's different. Wait, her voice is different. Right? Or is it the same? Hold on, let's talk first. You're only making this more difficult. Thank you. Thank you. Is it different, boys? Wait, is it actually different, guys? You guys think it's different? You're making a huge mistake. No. You're doing the right thing. Walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key? Yeah, she sounds different, right? She sounds different. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away. Uh... Okay. I'll be here. Good luck. You huh? attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock slide. Is someone else here? Wait, I don't have a knife! I forgot my knife! <laughs> I forgot my knife! You make your way to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd just taken the blade mm. like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. Look at the mess you're in. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? Oh, you think that every single... If you treat her nice, she sounds nicer? There's a slight panic rising in the princess's voice. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Aww. She bent. Ah! This is mother. disgusting, bro! <laughs> Tearing through her limb with the determination of a trapped wolf. That's just nasty, man! As she rips her flesh from her bone, a sound comes from behind you. The clang of bouncing metal. It's the blade from upstairs. You're not sure how it made its what? way down here, but if there's a time to strike, it's now. Or we could use it to free her. You won't like what happens if you do that. Okay, okay, okay. What if we try saving her both times in a row? <sighs> Fine. Against your better judgment. I mean, guys, it's kind of hot. What do you want me to say? What do you want me to say, man? If she's a demon, then I'm also a demon. You know what I mean? Just above the unyielding chain binding her to this place. You cut into her blade. The blade is sharp, and it takes little effort to crack through the bone of her arm. Her limb falls to the ground. She didn't so much as utter a sound. If no. I had a gun with she two didn't. bullets, and was locked in a room with Bin Laden, Saddam Hussein, and a Hitler that looked like the princess, I would shoot my seed inside no, Hitler. No, 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 no. What the fuck are you saying, bro? Stop fucking... Dude, no, no. Dude, what the fuck are you saying? Shut up. No. She smiles softly as her gaze meets yours. Wait, she's nice now! Arm dripping you see it? Like, she's ground. actually nice now. Like, last time she was, like, sassy, but now she's nice. How is she still smiling after everything? It's like she isn't even bothered by- Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No. We won't have any of that. The stake as the princess- Wait, oh, watch me. Kill. What are you doing? 
Oh my god. See? Last time she was looking... Dude. Guys, guys, guys. Guys. I'm saving her. I'm saving her. Stop that. Something's come over you, hasn't it? You, you know you don't have to do this, right? The body lunges forward. The no! blade held low, ready to sink into her heart. The princess dodges, stumbling back against the wall before the blade has a chance to connect. Stop it. Stop trying to resist me. I'm trying... Resist. The blade. Move the... As your body remains frozen in stubborn resistance, the princess takes a cautious step forward. We both know this isn't you. Yes, my queen. I kneel. Yes, sir. She nervously reaches towards you and takes the blade from your infuriatingly rigid hands. What are you doing? I'm sorry. I'll try to be quick. She plunges it no! in, tearing through flesh and sinew. It is agony. But you aren't dead. Oh no! I'm so sorry! Stay strong. We can tough it out until it's done. For her sake. For her sake! <laughs> Don't you start pretending that dying a painful death is some sort of heroic gesture. Shut up, Mary. Whatever. She sinks the blade into your chest again and again. For her and sake, again, of course. And you feel every inch of burning. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can fix her, though. I can fix her, though. Chat, hear me out. Hear me out. She doesn't know how to use a knife, does she? Apparently not. Though it doesn't matter how sloppy her knife work is, does it? A stab wound is still a stab wound, and it won't be long before you bleed out. With one last Wait, thrust so she of the knife, personality? your legs give out beneath you. You collapse to the floor, your blood pooling around you, your limbs unresponsive. The princess stares down at your ruined chest. Yeah, because she's tears nice now. carve rivulets of pink down her blood-spattered cheeks. It can't just end like this, right? Oh, that's rich coming from you. As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. Everything goes dark. And you die. Ah. You're on a path. You're here. Alright. Let's go to the cabin. A warning before you go any further. She will lie. If only you knew what... <laughs> Excuse me? Forget. But he... Last time. What are you talking about? I think he just likes to hear this. I do. Wait, but both I the also speak from the heart. My passions are too great to be stifled. They must be expressed. No, what happened to my schizo voice? No, dude. What happened to the boys of the schizoing? Sure, yeah, your passions are strong and all, but not everyone needs to hear them. Some things are better kept quiet. Don't pay their bickering any mind. Focus on the task ahead. He's a sip now? Nah, that's cringe. The interior of the cabin is clean and elegant. Its stone oh, wow. walls draped in fine threaded tapestries. A prison befitting a royal prisoner. The only the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I mean Should we use it? Okay, so last time we look at the mirror, so one, last time we look at the mirror, we became a wolf. Maybe yeah, I shouldn't bring the knife, yeah. No knife. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing an intricate stairwell. Gold-trimmed carpet glimmers in the light of the torches positioned along the walls. The basement almost seems welcoming in the dim firelight, but it's still a stone basement. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. A soft voice carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? See? She's nice! A voice. It's somehow even more beautiful than last time. I think we're in love. Are you serious? I'm a simp? Now I'm a simp? Nah. A 
okay, I'm with you that we should be doing whatever we can to save her, but saying we're in love is a bit much, don't you think? No. We don't even know the princess. We can still do right by her without all this fawning. Yes, for everyone's sake, you're not in love. <sighs> Just remember that her charms are all part of the manipulation. We walk down the stairs Wait, look at and lock this. eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist. Only one chain? To the far wall. Only one chain. My love, we're here to rescue you from your unjust and foul imprisonment. Shut up, bro. You're making me look bad. You know she can't hear you, right? She may not be able to hear my words, but surely she can hear my spirit. Oh, your spirit's plenty loud, all right. It's you, my dashing hero. I was so worried you wouldn't come back. Yes, my queen. Yes. Did you hear that? She said we're dashing. I know, right? Even though you're kind of weird. And she called us a hero. True. Flattery really goes a long way with the two of you, doesn't it? Yes. I mean, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, when I was a kid, when I, was in, when I was in high school, there was one time one of, a, a girl in my class said that I had nice eyelashes and still to this day I remember that shit 20 years later. Waiting for you to come back? You've been here before, haven't you? That's right, villain. And you killed us. Well, she killed us. Only because he made us try and kill her, it was self-defense. Our beloved's hands remain unstained by cruelty. Hmm. And you've died before. So an entire world has been damned to oblivion. I'd really hoped I'd be the first, but what's done is done. It's kind of cool, matters, though. Is you have a chance to do it right this time. I wonder how many different, like, boys are there. We damned a whole world. But everything reset. Nothing resets. You're just somewhere else. You can't keep hopping between worlds forever. I could. Especially not without leaving a trail of incomprehensible devastation behind you. <sighs> this is horrible. Horrible for you, maybe. But we've been given another opportunity to sweep her off her feet and treat her like the lady she is. Dude, this guy's making me look like an asshole. Like, like a simp. Like, now, hold on. If she actually ended a world, are you sure we want to do this? Are you sure we want to... Nah, rescue? you're just... We never saw a world end. True. Now I'm even more certain that we must chase our heroic and romantic destiny than I've ever been. I shan't let anyone convince us otherwise. Are you listening to him? He's lost it. Don't let him distract you. Just do your job. But she's so cute, though. How am I going to kill someone that's so cute? Died, and now we're talking. Okay, well, I mean, you're not really helping me out here, girl. I mean, of course I fucking died, and now we're talking here. That's obvious. I didn't bring a knife. Do I have to... But before we started talking, did the world end? I don't know. Was I supposed to have ended the world? Would that have made you happy? <gasps> she wants me, guys. Guys, guys. She wants me. Isn't that just like our darling princess? She wants to make us happy. My True. heart melts further with every word that I, passes. I don't know about that part. You That's kind of weird. Are you listening to her? That's a confession. No, I don't want to end the. No, I don't want the world to end. I have no feelings one way or the other about the world ending. Honestly, the world sucks. He bought a plague, and I hope to probably <laughs> cut my life into pieces. <laughs> No, I don't want the I don't want the world to end. Then I didn't end the world. Oh, see, she didn't confess anything. She is innocence itself. True. Um, not so sure. I'm sorry about what happened last time. The narrator who sent me to sent the narrator who sent me here to kill you took the, my body. It was extremely unfair. If another version of me was pushed to such 
drastic action. It was for good reason. That's okay. You were just doing your best, and that's all that matters. I can't do it, guys. I can't kill her. I can't kill her. I can't kill her. I can't. We somehow ended in the good ending. She took that in stride. To a surprising extent. An almost unsettling extent, actually. That's because she's perfect. True! Okay, no, hold on. This voice is just trolling me. Do you think she has someone like him telling her what to do? She doesn't. There's no one else like me. I think he's right, because I like it better if she doesn't have some horrid little Can we play like something you? else? Always trying I can only itch for so long. Life. Shut up, bro. Soldier Red shall complete the mission. Remember that soldiers follow orders, not reason, over. No, no, no. Uh, I didn't even bring a knife. Do I have to cut you out again? I'm okay with whatever you come up with. You can cut my arm off again. What? We won't be laying a finger on her perfect wrists. And indeed, we won't even have to. Do you see how dainty her hands are? We'll be able to slip her right out with no harm done. What? No, she's a prisoner. <laughs> you can't just slip her hand through the chains. Why are you two arguing over the logistics of slipping her hand out of her shackles? She just said she'd be okay with any idea we Any came up idea? With. Am I the only one here who thinks that's weird? How's that weird? She didn't care last time. Why should she care this time? True! That's our stoic, smiling angel. No, you're right. It's extremely bizarre behavior and further evidence that she's a monster who's No! How? So go ahead. Wait, this is, this, is, this, is, this is like this is like my voice is when I meet someone who's actually nice and I have one voice who says, Wow, she's perfect. Another voice who says, You can't trust her, fuck this bitch. And another voice who says, You guys are both retarded. Like, there's no between. No, I'm not killing her. I'm not sipping for the girl. Well, maybe I am sipping for the girl. Let's get princess. No, I can't let you do that. If you take another step towards the princess, I'll. You'll what? Take over our body and force us to try and kill her? I would if you had a weapon. Not on my watch, villain. <laughs> my passions contain titanic depths. True. And if you try anything that might harm our dearest, I will end our life. Oh, whoa, 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 hold on. I'm not so sure of the second sentence, brother. What do you mean I'm gonna kill myself for her? Hold on, hold on. Like, I like her, she's nice, and she's hot. But I'm not gonna kill myself for her. Like, I mean, it's not that... F in the chat for my bike that got stolen today, Sag. <laughs> Your bike got stolen? <laughs> no, no, sorry for laughing. Hold on. <laughs> sorry for laughing. Hey, brother, don't worry. Concerned? Did you just admit that you have a voice in your head telling you to slay women whenever you talk to Guys, a woman? Guys, I'm trying to play a game here. Shut up. Don't worry, Chatter. I hope things get good for you. You. I would. I'd listen to him if I were you. He has a lot of strong feelings. And doesn't the world end if we don't stop her? <sighs> you approach the princess and gingerly slide her hand from her bindings. Feel strong, man. That shouldn't have worked. I'll be damned. We're doomed. I can't believe it. But I guess I have to. I told you. There's no life more worth living than that of a true believer. True! I'm free, and you're not trying to kill me this time. Thank you. Thank you so much. The good ending, guys. We did it. The princess jumps up and smothers you in a joyful embrace. The good ending! We did it! If only you had a weapon, one slip of the wrist and your pristine blade would be buried in her Oh back my and goodness gracious! would be saved. Luckily for Mr. Romance, we don't have a weapon. Who needs a weapon when we have the power of love on our side? Shut up, bro! You're making me look bad! What do we do now? We fuck! I mean, what do we? What do you want to do now? We leave, and then we have our whole lives to figure out what we do next. What do you want to do? Let me guess. End the world? Spoken with the rank cynicism of someone who has <laughs> never felt love in his heart. I met this Kitzel one. This Kitzel one was so funny. I don't actually know. 
Nobody's ever asked me what I wanted before. Don't let this oh, game distract no you from a fact we are all going to die alone, TF. She doesn't even know what she wants. You may have her all wrong. You're so gullible. Is the only thing you've ever doubted the actual truth? Yes. I think I want to leave. Sex seemed better than think? atomic hearts. Also to the chat of who got their bike stolen. Skill diff bozo. Guys, stop playing each other. Shut up. I'm playing the game. I want to leave and I think... The princess closes her eyes in deep reflection. Kiss? And then she shrugs. I don't know. What do you want to do? Marry you. I want you to tell me what you want. There must be something you want. Do you want to end the world? I just want to leave. We can figure out the rest. If you want to leave, then let's leave. Should we explore other options? What do you guys think? Keep pushing, you say? The, the other two options just say that they want to leave, pretty much. I just want to make you happy. <laughs> Guys, I can't. Lord, forgive me, I'm about to simp. She can't just want to make us happy. It makes sense to me. That's all I want for her, so of course she'd want the same for us. Fuck off, bro. I want you to tell me what you want, but what will make you happy? You have, you have to want something more than just to make me happy. But you need your own thing, you just met me. You can't base your entire- I don't want you to make me unhappy? Should I keep pushing? What do you guys think? Yeah, the music's getting scary, bro. I don't know, the music's getting a little bit scary. Get out of there, red monk, come. One, if we keep pushing, give me a two, we leave. What do you guys think? Leave? Straight up? What do you guys want pushing? If you want to leave, we can figure it out the rest later. That sounds perfect. The princess takes your hand. The last hopes of the entire world slipping through your fingers as they intertwine with hers. The good ending! We have each other. We don't need the world for our happy ending. True! I like to think that you do, actually. Look, I have my doubts, but the choice has been made and this is happening. You don't have to mope about it. We got the good ending! I will mope about it, because moping is the only recourse you love-blind fools have left me with. You and the princess walk up the stairs hand in hand. The good She's ending! Smiling at you. She doesn't have to be so happy about this. And what happens after we walk up the stairs? Let's see. Oh, oh my god. Isn't that interesting? The door slams in your face and the lock clicks. Uh oh. That's a familiar move. Did I do that last time? Then you should know that you won't be able to leave. Oh no! Did someone lock us in here? That's not fair! We're supposed to leave now. True. She's right. It isn't fair. But the unfairnesses of She's the world... She's got some nice tits. ...for the strength Shh. of true love. Enough with this true love nonsense. You just met her. Blueless. Of course you wouldn't understand. Our passions run deeper than anything you will ever know. True. I... Can we bring back the schizo? Are you listening to this? You don't have to go along with the every whim of that delusional voice. I'm just along for the ride at this point. Hey, do you think you can open it? I think we can open it together. I think I got this. I think we can open it if we try together. Okay, yeah, let's do it. No way! 
like a pair of teenagers in love, you and the princess place your hands on the door together. Blech. I mean, this guy's the hair, bro. Let me be happy. And the lock clicks and the door creaks open. Are you kidding me? We did it. I told you our love was insurmountable. You and the princess make your way upstairs. No, no, don't kill me. Blade. There's still a chance for you to do the right thing. Oh. Take the blade from the table and slay her before it's too late. No, I'm not doing that. No, no, no. You're enjoying this, aren't you? Yes. You're taking every opportunity you can to draw out the end of the world and make me suffer. No, it's not about you, dumbass. It's about what I want. That's the way out. We're going to leave together, just like you wanted. Yay! So I suppose you are going to do that, aren't you? You cross the room, opening the door to the cabin, and then you step outside. A happy ending at last. We did it. What should we do now? What's going on? Where did everything go? Where did he go? Oh, is he gone? I hadn't noticed. I was too busy staring deep into our beloved's eyes. I'm cold. Is being happy supposed to be so cold? He's cold. Quick, our feathers. Pluck them all and weave her a coat worthy of a princess. No! No! Well, you didn't get a chance to make the jacket, or you ever did. It's time for you to leave. My happy ending! No! She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a... Oh. Why is it here? Oh no, of course you're scared, but this is not the end for you. But it feels so bad. Like looking into it right now is going to be the end of everything. Yes, I fear that we won't like what we'll see. What if we just sit here and preen for a while? That doesn't hurt. It's not the end. Whatever is on the other side, it's going to be nice. Is it, this is is that that picture? This is this is you know what this picture? Do you know what this, you know this reminds me of? Where is it? Where is it? This is literally us, guys. <laughs> literally me right now. I don't like that silence. The voices feel small as you approach. Silence as you reach forward, they're gone again. The mirror always makes them leave, but you need to see what's going, what's in it. It's me. You're grown. You're grown. You find yourself in the long, quiet once again. Play to the cabin. We're back here. Flickering lights in empty cityscapes become pockets of vitality and movement. I am more than I was before. Whenever you are ready, I will wipe your slate clean once again. What? So we're back here. Are you the one the same being as before? Is a child the same as an infant? I am an unbroken pattern. But every vessel gives fresh perspectives and carves new avenues of expression. I am different, but I am the same. What does it feel like to change like this when this all is done? You know, at the end of, of this, you one thing I'm gonna I'm going to kill you, right? What the fuck? When I go back, if it's an invisible wall that closes around me, why can I? Why can I not do the same thing as I've done before? Why wouldn't I be kind to you? You are the only thing I know that isn't me. Wait, what? I don't want to hurt you, but the more I go back, the worse I fear things will be. The vessels are shaped by memories of you, but 
that their impulses are drawn to the edge of the long quiet. To them you are a gate to something more, and any hurt you've caused them is understood as a fair price for freedom. But they are only thoughts and perspectives. So I guess every, every single time I finish the game, there's like a different ending. The wounds they've suffered carve texture around my heart. Without them, I would be as I was before. I would be alone and without sensation. I could not feel the joy of having you by my side, for I would not know your absence. Huh. Attack the entity? What if I attack the entity? How many more vessels do I need to bring you? If I am to be an ocean, you have nurtured me into a pond. My waters are shallow and murky, and I yearn for more perspective. You will have your rest in due time, and I am sorry for the burdens I place on you. Hmm. And what if I don't bring any more vessels? What if I just wait here forever? What do you want me to bring you next time? Gifts aren't what someone tells you to bring them. My joy is in seeing what you choose. There are no wrong answers, and every perspective illuminates my shadows and shares new secrets. Uh. Do you have no preference on how you like to change or grow? But it will give me time to reflect on what we will meet again. Oh my god. I didn't have my headphones on. Nice try. So we're back at the beginning? Man down. I repeat. Man down. Activate emergency response protocol. Rookie mystic soldier Richard is a cabin. My age is still not and in the basement of that cabin is a princess. So... So, man, this game is actually kind of cool. So we're back in the loop again? You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. This game is boring. I'll, ra I'll rather swallow a glass and I'll see you tomorrow then. I don't know what, like... I don't get it. You're not subbed. You're not, you know, you don't give me money. Why the fuck listen to you? You don't like to watch, so go watch someone else, dumbass. Go watch XTZ, he's probably watching TikToks. Oh. I kinda wanna know where this is going. So what should we do this time? Should we kill her this time, guys? But what if she changes? What if she's nicer this time? What if she's even more nice? I mean... You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. Is the narrator different? We're not going to go through with this, right? Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want. Okay, should I bring the blade this time? What do you guys think? Should I bring the blade this time? What if I take the blade? I mean, last time the blade appeared anyways. down the basement the door to the basement creaks open her voice softly carries up the stairs hello is someone there it's hypnotizing it's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life okay he said don't me. let it fool you hi don't be a stranger 
It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Please, come downstairs. You walk down the stairs. So there's any difference? She's beautiful. I am begging you to stay focused. Hi. Do you think you can get me out of these chains? Is this any different? I can't even tell anymore. It is? How do you know? She looks different. Okay. She's not being nice this time. What's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness. Or you can just call me Princess, if your Royal Highness is too formal. Is Princess her name or her title? Is she being here? I mean... I feel like if we were to do the same thing again, it would probably get the same ending, no? Talk about the vessel. to give you uh, what are you going to do if I let you out of here I, I, I was sent here to slay you um I don't see what that has to do with anything the fuck? this is the only time this is ever going to happen but okay but actually what has she been eating she has to eat right so alright let's just fucking speed on this let's see what happens if I do the same thing only making this more Thank you. Your no. You'd walk up to the chair large and heavy. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe that yeah, this is fucking uh... Maybe there's some way to Or if that doesn't work, I guess we can always cut me out of them. She offers the suggestion if we were stuck down here. And we have to say it's, it's, it's the same we're getting the same shit. You make your easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. There's a slight panic. Right. If I could just get out of these chains, I know we could force our way out of here together. Oh, <laughs> dude, I always get jump scared by this. Ah. Right she was for, we, you won't. <sighs> Against you cut, the blade is sharp. Her, she didn't know. She smiles softly. How is she still smiling? Thank you. No. Can I see? As the print, watch. Oh, wait. No way. It's blocked now. Okay, there's no going back now. I'm with you to the end. You bring the blade down to strike at the prick, but she's fast. She ducks to the floor, your blade narrowly grazing her backside, slaying her. We could have gotten out of here together. Were you just lying to me this whole time? I don't know what's come over you, but if I have to kill you, then I'll kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? The fuck? She pounces on you with the same animal ferocity she used to tear through her arm. But you have a weapon. You raise the blade, digging it under her ribs, aiming directly for the heart. It's not enough to stop her. You feel her claws in your throat, then her teeth, what somehow sharp enough to pull apart your flesh and sinew with ease. You collapse to what the, the fuck? Your body unresponsive as your blood pools on the ground beneath you. If we're lucky, the wound you managed to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from the- It can't just end as much as I'd prefer- Everything goes dark. Okay, wait, so I'm confused. So why was the option locked? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. You're here to slay her. Wait, what, wait, what, what kind of voice do I get, though? What's, do, what skill do I get? A warning. She will lie. She will cheat. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. Boys of opportunists. The interior oh, wow. of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots. What the, the fuck? walls are chaotic. We the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. You take the blade from the shelf. Well, if we're grabbing a weapon, we should probably keep it hidden behind our backs. She doesn't have to know we have it. That's not 
actually a bad idea. All right, let's go. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing oh God, a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate. So is she gonna be mad at us? Only She's probably gonna be pissed at us, right? An opening below. It shines in the darkness like the air smells of her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down. Don't be scared. I probably won't bite. Okay, okay, dude. Okay, yeah. We're back to simping. Back to square one. <laughs> I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Oh my god. She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Fuck Don't off. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big This guy's the clueless guy. Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. Oh my god. Uh. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. You can just make out the shape of the princess in the bloom. She's huddled against the far wall, her eyes bright and glaring from amid the- And there you are, one hand tucked away behind your back, gripping that sharp, sharp blade, no doubt. How is she more hot now than before? That's not fair. How would she know that? So, we've dropped the pretenses. Good. She's acting like the two of you already know each other. Oh. You've already been here, haven't you? That's pretty sharp. How'd you figure that one out? Call it deductive reasoning. Ah. Well, you seem to be great. She's a tail too! Do you remember us, then? Do you remember last time? No, I don't. But you and the princess clearly- I'm just glad we could put all this behind us. Is it all behind us? Ah. Just focus on the task at hand. I don't care if you've been here before, and I don't care if you think you'll go somewhere else. Let's chatter up a bit first. Maybe we can find a middle ground mm. where everyone's happy. Don't talk to her. You're just going to make things more difficult than they have to be. Well, I seem to remember you having a tongue. I mean... I'm sorry about last time. Why do I have the nagging feeling you're going to stab me in the back if I help you out of here? And why would I do such a thing? Is someone's guilty conscience getting to them? No, no, that's not why. I wouldn't worry. As much as I may hate you, letting you live is in my best interests. If you get me out of here, the only thing that will be dead and buried is the bad blood between us. I mean... Oh, that nagging feeling you mentioned is me, by the way. I'm actually a little anxious about a potential backstabbing event. She needs us to get out of here. Will be fine if that's you won't be fine because destruction is in her nature. So should I kill she her this time? Even if that's true, that doesn't automatically mean she's gonna stab us in the back. I think that depends on your definition of words like stab and in the back. She might not literally do that, but she could very well symbolically do the same thing. See? He gets it. There's nothing wrong with looking out for number one. Oh, I'll do that. I'm gonna see. I'm sorry about last time. Look, I made a mistake. We get, we all make mistakes, right? Look, I know. I, look, I know. I know. Things got messy last time, but I think there's something bigger than both of us right here. We should team up. Mm. I don't want to hurt you, but there's some broken trust. This is not just as a goodwill. Give her the blade. Nah. Should I just kill her? What do you guys think? Should we just kill her? Just... Do you think that being direct with your ill will frees you from its wickedness? Yes. Murder and betrayal are still murder and betrayal. Up. Hello, you Mr. Shell. I have to thank you for giving me permission in offline chat. Fuck off. 
See? Thank you for this is why we never tell people what we're actually thinking. She's just as mad, only now she's ready for us. Still, better a violent fool than a plotting coward. Better for me, I mean. As you close the distance, readying your strike, the princess's chain falls from her wrist. She's harder now! She takes advantage of your split second of surprise and throws a fistful of dirt into your eyes. She could have gotten out of those the whole time, that sneaky little... A woman after my own heart, really. It's a shame we're playing opposite teams. This is why you couldn't just abandon her here. Left to her own devices, she would always find a way out. Now stop her. Wait, why'd she have the ubu face? Yeah, like, what is this face, bro? You must have known I would be ready for you. Deep in your heart, you know the same things about me I know about you. We're both so very awful. As you brush the silt from your eyes, the princess tackles you, flattening you against the dirt floor. Oh my god. We were always going to kill each other here, weren't we? I can't trust you, and you can't trust me, and those doubts spin and spin and spin into hate. She buries her teeth deep into your chest, tearing it. Great, she's distracted. Stab her in the back. In for a penny, right? Why not? As the princess rips meat from bone, you plunge your weapon into her unprotected back. Ha, <laughs> you bastard! Even face to face, you find a way to stab me in the back. I Why is it so sexual? Hideous, absolutely wretched. Just <laughs> Why is it so sexual, bro? Maybe we are the same. So what? Throw her off us. Kick her in the shins. We don't have to fight so dirty. Of course we do. Fighting clean won't help us win. It takes a wretch to know a wretch, and we're all at the bottom of the barrel here. There's no point in pretending otherwise. Are we? At the bottom of the barrel. We've got dirt in our eyes and a chunk of us chewed out. That's not the bottom of the barrel. What is? No arguments here. You're doing great. Keep playing dirty if that's what it takes. But if we win, we won't be at the bottom anymore. We'll have climbed a little higher. And once we start climbing, well, who knows where we'll stop? What? We'll stop right here if you keep daydreaming. Don't let yourself get distracted thinking about what comes after. None of us ever said we stopped fighting. What a low and vicious fight it is. Eyes gouged, skin scratched bloody, hair ripped and nails broken. What the Every fuck is going there on? ever was in the book of honorable combat. Both you and the princess have broken a dozen times over. That's nice and all, but are we winning? No. Nobody's winning. She's fighting me, bro. I supposed to give you the upper hand. Man. But I suppose that doesn't work if you both sink to the same lows. Still, the princess cackles maniacally as the cracker <laughs> continues. But behind her cackle, you hear the low groan of walking wood. Wait. What's going on? We're establishing a newer, better packing order. No, the groaning thing. Why is the wood making noise? Who cares about the groan? It's just a sound. Things make sounds all the time. Uh, I care about the groan. Doesn't that mean something bad is happening? Oh, yes, well, I'm afraid that's the sound of the basement getting smaller. What? Do you hear that, you pathetic wretch? Those are the roots of the wild, and they're coming to choke the breath from your lungs and squeeze the life out of you. Dude, I don't know if this explains to you, but why is this game, why is this game feel so sexual, bro? Like, why does this feel so sexual? Excuse me, what? You and the princess disengage for a brief moment, just long enough to get your bearings. Behind you, the basement door has been sealed over, thick roots barring your only exit from the dirt pit. And slowly, but very perceptibly, the roots are closing in on you both. That's right, they're coming for you. And they won't stop until there's nothing left down here but them. What? Dude, like, this just this just feels like a really weird twisted fantasy of like, some... <laughs> like... What about you? They will crush you as easily as they crush me. We're not animals, we're people. We can make this work, we can, we can make things better. I'll take it all back. I can help you get out of here. You and I can work together. We can still be friends. Go out fighting. As long as you suffer while you die, I'll gladly suffer with you. I mean, shit, Especially man. Especially I mean... if I get to see it happen. <laughs> I mean, shit, bro. I mean, guys, guys, guys. Can you... Can you blame me? I mean, I don't have to say anymore, dude. This doesn't help anyone. I can't believe she'd kill us both just to spite me. See? 
This is exactly why you've been tasked to slay her. She's an antisocial monster who will gladly burn the whole world for her satisfaction. The roots grow ever closer. We know we can see them. Uh, make them stop. You can make them stop, right? Why though? Why are you doing this? Because it's in my nature. Just like you coming down here to kill me is in yours. It's who I am. What? That is extremely not us. We're just doing what we're told and making the best out of a difficult situation. Exactly. You're in the right here. Now focus up and win. Are we though? You feel something against your back. A thick root pushing its way. Shit. What do we do? What do we do? We should probably get back to Stan. The only way out of this is through her, right? Ah, uh, come on, they're pressing into me, they're pressing into you. This sucks. We're animals. I can take it all back. I can help you get out of here. Go out fighting, fuck it! You attack the princess once more, and once more the two of you fall into a vicious brawl. The basement continues to shrink as you fight, but neither of you pay it any more mind. Not until it's too late. The roots twist around you both, grinding your I mean, Guys, 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 guys. As your face guys, 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 guys. Watch her, and all she can do is watch you. At first, it's almost gentle. The two of you lifted delicately off the ground, but the cradle of the growing roots soon gives way to tightness. That tightness gives way to bulging pressure as they begin to constrict. Oh! The sound of creaking wood is drowned out by the snaps and pops of your bones. Pain flooding your senses as you feel your skin deform, being tears well up in the princess's eyes, her own bones splintering and flesh swelling with trapped blood. But still, she smiles through it all. I can't wait to do this again, you wretched little thing. I hate you, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Like this. I like need this. a bitch like this in my life, reaction. fucking like, hot, big titty, and crazy. You know what they say about them crazy bitches, they go nuts, Red Society, Red Smooth. The pressure is unbearable. Oh my god. You can't breathe, your vision swimming with red, your head pounding as everything tightens. And then, you pop. Everything goes dark. Chapter 3? Wait, what? Goku versus the princess after results. We are a path in the woods. We have no beginning and we have no end. But something cold and unnatural sits watching us from just beyond our edge. His gaze pushes against our borders, curling them in on themselves, preventing them from stretching to the places they need to reach. No, no, that's all wrong. You're not a path in the woods, you're on a path in the woods. Who's even saying that? That's not... That's not the princess, is it? Oh, no. How many times have you been here? Like, 50. I think this is our third? That's bad. That's very, very bad. It wasn't even supposed to reach two. If you're at three, well... No wonder things aren't the way they're supposed to be. Let's get our facts straight. What happened last time? What could you have possibly mm. done for things to be like this? The thing that sits beyond our edge speaks his logic into us. He tries to grasp at things that cannot be grasped. He tries to stare with wide pupils at that which can only be held. This is Lily, you in the chat? What is this? Or with a passing glance. This is literally the tire giving a nutshell. This is literally the tire giving a fucking nutshell. Shut up. The rest of you talk. What happened? What did you do? Sure, there's no reason to keep secrets. Someone decided to go in guns blazing last time and that someone got us killed. 
Honestly, honestly, I'm not even kidding. This game is really good. Like, I, like I'm not even joking. I'm not, I'm not saying it as like like as a shield or anything. This is a very good game. It's actually really been really fun. Like, I don't know why I'm so like into the game. And what should we have done? Let you draw things out with all that conniving. Everyone knows a straight fight is best. It's honest. That's because I'm a coomer, bro. There's no need to bicker about it. <laughs> the voice actor, the, the voice actor joins the stream and he's like, and she's like, like it Oh man, this guy's playing the game. Up. I wonder what he thinks. And then you have a bunch of people spamming, Oh my goodness gracious! Every single time the boy, the girl appears. Oh, guys! Another example of why everyone thinks we're a bunch of agents. This is why we can't have nice things. <laughs> there's nothing. There's no need to be caring about it. I wasn't trying to start anything. I don't mind what happened to us. I kind of like it. Yeah. Now that you mention it. Boys of Stubborn! This isn't so bad. I have five voices now! And it's not like the fight is what killed us anyway, it was the cabin. No point worrying about who charged who when that place ground us all into paste in the end. The princess included. It was... Leave a crazy fun. bitch to literally ruin my I'm life by far! Head it! Shut up. But doesn't this... Make it all seem so small. I see. So the cabin ground you into paste, and now you're convinced you're stuck together. What a mess. So I'm a plant now. He doesn't understand. We aren't convinced of anything, and we aren't stuck together. We're one. This is how we're supposed to be. Wait, I am the bad Can't bitch you now? Feel it? This thing watching us, what is he? I'm not watching. Can they show the I'm woman again already? Him. I'm going soft. Shut up, bro. That's not an answer to our question. I don't know what he is. I only know that he is something other. And that he wishes for you and I to tear ourselves apart. Ah, is the narrator is an imposter. I do want that. Only because it's in your best interests. It's in mm. everyone's best interests. Right. You won't be able to slay her unless you remove yourself from her. Or I might want to say kill myself. Ah. He wants us to kill each other. I don't. I want you to kill her. Don't be charmed by her faux solidarity. You're not in this together. I mean... She's the only one who poses a threat to the world. and She's trying to make you go along with it. You don't have to enable her, especially when you have what it takes to stop her. I had enough of this guy. How could we stop him? We push back. It may feel like he's everywhere, but presence isn't strength. Otherwise, he would have torn us apart by now. There must be a crack in the walls of this prison. There must be a way for us to be free from him. She's trying to use you. Ah, oh, come on! After everything she's done, you should be able to see that. I may not have been around to witness it, but clearly you remember what happened. How about you try remembering how it all felt? I mean... I'm, I, it's just like... Is this some sort of ASMR? <laughs> sex talk! I remember how I felt. Turn inward, turns inwards and find your freedom. Oh? You fall inward into a network of connections too vast for your mind to occupy. Are you a path in the woods? Are you a body? Can you even grasp the fuzziest edges of the shapes that confine you? We can change to fill them together. We don't need to be everywhere at once, just in the right place at the right time. You'd do best to remember that some wounds will never heal. What the fuck is going some on? Some rifts can never be mended. Even in rebirth, some things never come back the same. What is he going on about? What does he know about us? He 
can't make us quit, no matter how much he tries. The he boy is stubborn. The is all he can do. Of course he's gonna try and confuse us. Dude, this music though, what the fuck? You aren't whole. You'll never be whole again. This struggle is meaningless. Whatever you think you're doing, you will fall apart. What? We don't need to be made whole. All we need to do is find a single corner of his cage and break it. There is a place we need to be. You need to find it. Stretch and search and stretch and search, growing as you decay and decaying as you grow. As you strain beyond your limits, the ground around you becomes dry and unstable and crumb. This place will fall apart before you find its end. This task, don't care. whatever it is, don't care. you think don't you're care. doing, Still don't is care. impossible. I don't care. Hello, Hello Jen. Hello, Rachel. Hello. All the more reason to keep trying. Come over and stroke my dick. I I'm trying to listen to this fucking dialogue. I'm horny as fuck, man. <laughs> How about maybe this for two balls? Pocket Timmy takes for porn. That's right. I know a loser when I see one. Call his bluff. I can hold us together for a little while longer, so long as you trust me. Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. You won't find anything if I have to starve you. If I have to sacrifice my world to keep the princess at bay, I'll do it. What? Well, you do find something. It's cold and smooth, and it gently buckles. Then cracks all. Don't move an inch. Don't grow another blade of grass or harvest the remains of another dying creature so you can expand just that much further. Stop all of this right now. I think it's too late for that, mate. Oh, shit. Oh. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? I'm at your side. Shatter it and free us all. No, 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 stop! We're free! But he's pleased to appear at the sound of breaking glass. Job well done, team. Just like I'd planned. Oh, can it? This was all of us, fighting as one. Is this what he kept from us? Is this why he made us kill each other? What is it? This. Beautiful. What is it? And then it's gone. Where did it go? Why is everything so cold? You never get a chance to answer your turn. No way. She's gone. Where did she go? Should we try and find her? Is that a? Uh oh. Not again. This this doesn't feel right. It feels diffed through the mirror. We just need to find the princess. If they think it's bad, I'm with them. And we're back to stage one. You have withered. I have withered. You find yourself in a long quiet once again. Oh wait, but she's not she's not there anymore. I am a growing chorus. Of what the hell is going on? A mass of tides ebbing and flowing all at once in more directions than my attention can bear to hold. To look at any one is to shift them all into something new. And to look away is to reshape them. You can't be a contradiction because you just don't exist. How can you stand out to a contradiction? Does it, does it matter how many times I go back? At least one of us always ends up hurt. Doesn't that change you? It changes me, but it doesn't make me worse. Nor does it make me care for you any less. Does it make you worse? Do you resent me? 
Uh, if anything makes me like you more. Ah, what the fuck is supposed to mean? Am I gonna go for the simp ending, really? It says that your heart is gentle. That even in the darkness, you are guided by compassion. You can't be a contradiction. Mm. What do you think of this vessel? This one is like a shadow of me. Twisting vines in search. Do not mourn her. She has found what she yearned for. I guess we go back, attack the entity. I never understood. What happens if I attack the entity? If you need time, then continue to wait forever. You are as I am now, and forever is a long time to remain undone. What textures will you weave for yourself to occupy forever? Will you place the images of you and I? Into a box for safety. If you close that box, will you become another you in another world? An imaginary pattern repeating itself until it can. You'll always come back to the box because you'll always want to know what it means to be. My game just crashed. Are you serious? Are you serious? My immersion! But she's a princess. What a very interesting game though. Wait, wait, don't tell me if I didn't save up the stuff in the beginning, no shot. Maybe the crash was intentional? That'll make a lot of sense. Maybe maybe it's because maybe it's because we finished their route, I guess. Dude, this is gonna be so interesting. I kinda wanna I know where it's going, to be honest. But she's a prince. Does, does this game have an ending? Wait, so we haven't even seen an ending yet? Well, I understand. I will do I will do one more route. We'll see. We'll see. We'll do one more route and then we'll call it quits there. Do something else after that. Yeah, it's like standing parable. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it reminds me of. Dude, this literally reminds me of Stanley Parable. A hundred percent, yeah! This is literally what I was thinking myself too. You have returned to me. Though you were gone mere moments, I never left your side. What? So it was intentional! You know, at the end of this, once you're finished... Okay, so what happens if I attack the entity? Don't destroy my body. You raise your will to end your life. I killed myself! <laughs> There's nowhere for you to be but here. Oh, I can't kill myself either? We will know. I'm, I'm, what if I attack him? My roots burrow in an ocean beyond your sight. We cannot harm each other as we are now. Alright. I will be here when it is time for us to meet again. Ah! Oh my fucking god, I keep forgetting about this. <laughs> I keep forgetting about that. 
So we're back here? Dude, what? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path... Okay, is a so... Cabin. Okay, so we already tried simping for her. We already tried, like... Is a princess. Chaining ourselves with her. We already tried... Killing her after I was forced. What other ending should we try? What do you guys think? You're here to slay her. What if I leave? What happens if I leave? Seriously? You're just going to turn around and leave? Do you even know where you're going? Nope. Fine. I suppose you just quietly continue down the path away from the cabin. Good. What we're being asked to do here is wrong. Better to wash our hands. Ignore that annoying little voice. He doesn't know what he's talking about. That's strange. Oh, for fuck's sake! Like this for path fuck. Also leads to the cabin. Turn around, turn around again and leave again. Really keen on wasting everyone's time. Yes. It's remarkably selfish, if you ask me. I've already outlined the stakes of the situation. If you don't do your job, everyone dies. Like, dies. I don't care, I'm, I'm not killing a prison. Killing is such a gauche phrasing and completely ignores the bigger Fuck picture. Off. Your task is to slay the But fine, you turn around and trek back down the path you came. No! Oh, I'm stuck! The cabin again. Now, I'm not normally one for superstition or astrology, but I have to say, it seems like... Oh yeah? Well, I guess I, I start walking in a different direction again. In fact, I'm going to just keep trekking to the wilderness until I find a way out of this place. There's always a choice. Let me tell you right now that you're making the wrong one for pretty much everyone who has ever lived. I don't care, bro. Well fuck him, fuck him. Genocide. I don't care. And here we go. As you trudge into the woods, something strange starts to happen. At first, it's little flickers out of the corner of your eyes. Glimpses of familiar wooden structures through the leaves. But as you focus on your surroundings, you start to realize that those flickers weren't just what? a trick of light. In every direction, there is a path and a cabin. And not just a cabin, the cabin. An infinite fractal of paths and cabins desperately trying to draw you back to where you need to be. Wait, what's going on? But you're too stubborn for that, aren't you? It doesn't matter how many paths or cabins appear around you, you're just going to do whatever you can to shirk your responsibility because you care more about irritating me yeah. than you do about <laughs> the fate of the world. What are you, a little trolley? You've doomed us all, you know that, right? But of course you do. Otherwise, you wouldn't just wander off into the forest in search of certain death. You lose track of just how long you spend aimlessly tromping through the wilderness. But it's not like any of that time spent lost in the woods really matters, because it isn't long before the world ends and everyone dies. Wait, is this an actual ending? The stranger? You're on a path in the woods. And at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If I can't if I can't run away from the cabin, then I'm just gonna stay here forever. It stays in the woods forever. Okay, okay. Oh wait, they walled me! Should I just stay here? You have already committed to my completion. You cannot go further astray. Uh oh. Man! What are you talking about? I'm sure those walls have always been there. It makes sense if you think about it. If there weren't any walls in the woods, someone might have gotten lost. Or, heaven forbid, someone other than you might have stumbled onto the princess. If he doesn't remember what happened, then maybe it's best to keep it that way. I don't know. I think it's more fun if he knows what we're thinking. Oh, boy, the contrarian! Captive audience. <laughs> boys, the new boys are just new boys. He might have walled off everything but the path to the cabin, but I'm sure there's plenty of other ways we can ruin his day. <laughs> if by ruining my day, you mean ruining 
everyone's day forever, then yes, I suppose there are plenty of ways you could pull that off. The world really did end last time, didn't it? We should be careful. For all we know, we just got lucky. The world hasn't ended yet. Alright, let's see. Uh... You know I can tell when you're lying, right? <laughs> Please take this seriously. I am begging you. A warning. What is this, Attack on Titan? Any further, she will lie. She, if we're stuck going in there, maybe we should believe her. Maybe she isn't a liar. True. Ignore him. He's just being difficult for the sake of it. So? Let's keep an open mind. Okay, so what happens now? The cabin interior is wrong. A confusing Whoa. patchwork of many cabin interiors, all projected across what's almost the same space. It's all shifted. Look at this, look at this. here, a foot there, such that the scene is not quite visible enough for the place to make any sense. The only furniture of note is a plain table. It, the blade is your implement. If he wants us to take it, maybe we should just leave it to collect dust. Or better yet, grab it and throw it out the window. What good is a knife against a world-ending monstrosity hmm. anyway? No, we're taking the knife. Have you seen this place? I've already told you what you're dealing with. You can't just say that. I'm not troll. Listen to me. My job is to describe facts as facts and to guide you through your job, which is to slay the princess and through that action, save the entire world. And if you're going to slay her, you cannot let fear creep into your heart. You cannot lose yourself before you even get to her. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you've piqued my interest. What's going to happen if oh we God. lose ourselves? Nothing, because you're going to pull yourself together. Just ignore the stressful geometry and stay calm. How? Even if we closed our eyes, you're constantly describing it to us. I'm not going to stop doing my job. So you're just going to have to get better at yours. And quickly, if you don't mind. Yes, take a deep breath. I'm all for getting under his skin. <laughs> but we'll miss out on loads of fun if we shrivel up into a ball and go insane the first time we see something weird. What you're seeing here is obviously real. Just accept it and go with the flow. It really isn't hard. Okay. Oh, good. Now, whenever you're ready, we're all... You didn't say anything about the mirror. Approach the mirror. Take the blade. I mean, the mirror is just a troll, guys. There's nothing on the mirror. You walk up to the wall next to the... What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least it'll be a mirror once we wipe off that layer of grime. See? You reach forward and... But there was a mirror a second ago, and now it's gone. You know that taking the mirror away from us isn't going to change things, right? We'll find <laughs> it again, and then we'll see whatever it is that you don't want us to see. Do I take the blade, guys? Yes or no? What do you guys think? Blade or no blade? Nah, fuck him. Fuck him. No blade. The door to what? the basement creaks open, revealing a web of branching staircases all built from unidentifiable materials. Nothing here seems to belong. And the closer you examine your surroundings, the more confused you get. Your head throbbing with the effort of making sense of this place. None of the stairs even seem to go anywhere, let alone down. The air here has a sickening, almost sludge-like miasma to it. The kind of indiscernible quality that comes from the blending together of every scent there is. If the princess lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice. A disquieting collage of tone and personality drags up the stairs. Yeah, why does I jump in, like, like off the map? Hello? Hi. What are you doing here? Are you here to kill? No. No, thank you. Oh, don't be such a baby. I don't want to do this. What the fuck? Let's just turn around and leave. This feels wrong. This feels like a trap. But like whatever we do, we're gonna die. We don't even have a weapon. But we already tried turning around and leaving, didn't we? And he threw up a wall. No way to go but forward. And whatever choice we make, whatever she is, we know one thing for sure. She's hot. And what's that? That the fate of the world hinges on your success? There'll still be plenty of ways to ruin his death. He's just, this guy's just trolling. Uh, left, center, or right? I'm gonna go right, because I ain't never taking a left in my life. You step to the right. The path feels soft and reassuring against your feet. The stairs almost seem to cradle you as you make your way down, but the further you go, the deeper you sink in. 
First, it's like a lovely plush carpet. I'm always talking about you, and I know you know my name when I'm just talking my shit. You're really mad at the sun, you're fighting just to keep your knees from sinking out of sight. The softness threatens to swallow you whole, to rest control of your body and surround you in a false ethereal bliss, pretending to save you from the cruelties of choice and consequence. It's slow going, but you manage to fight against the overwhelming urge to fall back into comfort and nothingness, the very struggle to I'm getting bored. Forward, consuming your every thought. You slowly lose sense of yourself the further you go. What the fuck is going on? Time disappears. Physical sensations dull and then vanish. Until the only things experienced are the endless repeating patterns and emotions of the journey. A continuous march forward to a destination long forgotten. Consumption and betrayal. Skepticism and blind devotion. Rivalry and submission. Terror and longing. Pain. Am I a schizo? Are you okay? What the fuck? What? What the hell was that? What happened to us? I feel so strange. Like I'm fundamentally different, but also still the same person I was at the top of the stairs. Oh well, that was a trip, but now it's over. Time to get back to our old devilish ways. The princess. Eyes bright, but otherwise shrouded hell? in darkness, watches you impatiently from the other side of the basement. Don't forget why you're here. And, uh, why are we here again? In case you weren't listening, I'm afraid I lost myself on the way down. <sighs> you're here to- He's just being an ass. We remember. <laughs> well, I'm still not sure if we should trust you. Uh... Getting down here was weird. Like, I pulled it apart. Do you know what happened to me? I don't know what happened to you, but you look like you're in one piece now. One piece? But, but I understand. Sometimes I feel like I'm being pulled apart too. It's so terrifying down here. But at least now you're not alone. And I'm not alone either. We're <laughs> stuck down here forever, aren't we? Why was that so fucking loud? Oh my god! Oh, that's so loud, dude! Jesus Christ! Why is the audio in the game so shit? But then when I when I hear something at like dude. Jesus fuck me, dude. As the princess speaks again, it's almost as if she fractures. And where there was once just one of her, now there's two. There is now another. We can do that? I don't like this. It's those cabins all over again. Can can we put her back? Again? Have you been here before? Should we tell him? Nah, let him stew. <laughs> right, Trophies. I'm telling him. Yeah, we've been here before, but we never went to the cabin. Until? It's hard to describe. Until the only thing we could see was the same cabin going on forever. And then you told us that the world ended and we died. And then we woke up, and I'm pretty sure you're familiar with all the rest of it. It seems to me like you saw something you weren't supposed to have seen. If only you'd listened to whatever words of wisdom you were given in that other reality. So, but what's done is done. Mr. Narrator, there's been a second princess! Whatever you saw last time, unsee it. Whatever thoughts weaseled their way, new plan. Let's see if we can make even more of her. Yes! I'm getting out of here and try to free her. Uh, let's see. There's more of you now. What's your name? Do you need help? Not that there's much I can do chained up like this, but I'm the only one down here. So if you need anything, I'll do my best. I don't feel like I've gotten any bigger. There must be something wrong with you. I'm the same as I was a moment ago. She fractures again. I don't like where this is going. Neither do I. Which is why you need to slay her now before things get more complicated than they already are. Can we make it more complicated? How would we even do that? Where would we start? We'd always start by retrieving the blade. Can we even leave this place? I don't like thinking about what might happen to us if we have to go back through those stairs. Well, that's where the blade is. If you want it, you'll have to go and get it. Mm. I don't think we're going to be able to put her back. That was a threesome. Kind of hurts to think about it, doesn't it? Force it's like everything we say, just 
multiplies her. It certainly looks that way, so please, for the love of everything, stop asking her questions and stop stalling. You're obviously just making things worse. No. What's your name? You can call me Princess, if you'd like. Princess. It doesn't matter. I've been down here for so long. What's the point of a name if there's no one around to use it? Why is she depressed? None of them have names. How astute. I told you. Ah. Uh... Wait, 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 what the fuck is this? Wait, look at this, look at this, look at this. Like, this option are three answers together. Like, this option is, I'm getting you out of here. I don't know what are you, like, retrieve blade. There's, the, the last option is three options together. Look. That's not right. Go on. Take a step forward. Your foot lands. But it lands different. You can feel yourself rupture. The room spins, your perception multiplying in a sickening kaleidoscope as your very self is pulled in incomprehensibly many directions. You find the blade suddenly in your hands. All at once you use it to strike at her bindings as you remain upstairs and slay her and leave her to perish. Is this what the end of the world looks like? What an unbearable mess. But this... We, we can't... Do you not have anything what witty to say? I could use a good bit of wit right now. No, I don't, because this isn't fun. How are we supposed to have fun if everything is happening at the same time? It's the same as nothing happening, and nothing is excruciating. Luckily for all of us, nothing and everything doesn't go on forever. The world the princess collapse in on themselves before it all falls apart what the fuck i think he's gone we were never going to salvage this were we what happened to us what are what we, are we? There, there are parts, are parts of us that are dead, dead and, and the others and the they, they just, just don't, don't fit. fit they just don't fit we, we can, can feel, feel them moving, moving around in spaces, spaces they, they, they don't belong, belong. It's, it's all so uncomfortable it's like you know, like the babies that are born together. I don't know what it's called. Siamese or some shit like that? Conjoined, yes. Did you do this? Did, Did we, we do this? this? Can, can, can you pull, can us, back you pull us back apart? Can you fix us? Fix us? We should help her. Oh my god. I think we did this. How surprisingly sincere. I didn't actually think our actions had consequences. <laughs> it's a little late for regret, isn't it? Please, please, please. Ah. Please. Please. Uh... No. <laughs> no. Oh. She's gone. Where does she go? And there's that mirror again. Oh boy, here we go again. This, this doesn't, yeah, don't look at it. I don't like that. I'm back again, the wolf inside me. Oh! <laughs> You've been unraveled. You find yourself in the long once in the long quiet once again. There's a world beyond the endless walls of the long quiet. We're supposed to be there. Wait, she has eight titties. Do you know what we'll find out there? Uh is that a trick question? Do you know? Do you want me to tell you? I said, there's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. I don't know, man. Rhetorical. I am not rhetorical. I have only known these spaces. And I have no- I'm asking you because I cannot know your mind. Do you know what we'll find out there? Ah, uh, there's trees and stars, and there are people, I think. At least there are supposed to be people. 
There is a warmth and sadness in me at the thought of people. Fresh tears on a winter's day. They are not like us. They do not. Huh. When you send me back, I am not alone. There are boys that speak to me. Some of them are me, but one of them is someone else. I call a narrator. He wanted to kill you. Do you have that a narrator? No. Their thoughts are quiet. Do you think your narrator lives in the spaces beyond? He does. I am on the cusp of my awakening. Perhaps you are on the cusp of yours. If I did, I would already be awake. Boop, boop. One, whatever you bring me next will be enough. And then gravity will pull the others back to Oh wait, me. I only need one more back. I will be singular. Oh wait, I only need one more. So we only need one more for the ending. These ones are a contradiction. They will make for a rich and vibrant heart. Do not mourn them, for they will finally get Do I, guys? Song. Do we do one more? Do we do one more? It sounds like you need one more. The next time I see you, each of us will finally know what we are. Ooh! I will be here, waiting for you. Okay. I don't want to, uh, dude, this could be the sickest game I ever played, like... You're on a path. This game is, like, so and weird at the end of that and interesting at the same time. A cabin. You know? And in the basement of that cabin... It's like, a, it's like, a, it's a like, a, it's like the Stanley Parable. It's like the Stanley Parable, I guess. But it's actually really cool. Like, I thought it was going to be a game that I was going to play for, like, an hour or so, but I ended up being here for three hours, almost. It's actually, it's really, 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 really good game. It's like, 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 it's like, it's, it's, like the, it's just pretty much a Stanley Parable. It's like, you're supposed to replay the game over and over and over, you know? You're here. Okay, well, what ending should we, should, what ending should we do, guys? You make your way up the short. I guess we just kill her, right? The interior of the blade. So I just murder her, right? You take the blade. It's like Undertale? Yeah! Door to the basement, her voice. Who's there? Oh my. She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. Oh, it's been so long since anyone's come down here. I was starting to think they'd forgotten about me. Why do you sound like a dummy mummy now? You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? No. -uh. <laughs> no. -uh. How about you drop the knife and the two of us just talk? Look how reasonable she's being. Don't no, we get. should probably kill Sorry. her, right? Tighten your grip. You ignore the trembling in your hands and tighten your grip on the blade. You poor thing. Your hands are shaking. Are you scared of me? Because you should be. Holly. You step forward, your grip on the blade tightening as you steal your resolve. I'm probably chained up in this basement for a reason, right? And if that knife is the only weapon you have, You'll have to get close enough to use it. So, you should just drop it. Best. She's unarmed. If you hesitate now, it'll be too late. I guess we just kill her straight up, no? Doubt, unfortunately, clouds your thoughts as you attempt to run her through. A moment of distraction and hesitation is all she needed to sidestep your thrust and deliver a catastrophic blow to your jaw. What? It feels like you've been hit with a sledgehammer. You can feel bone grinding on bone where your jaw has been fractured. Holy shit, that hurt! Though she's unarmed, 
the shock of that first strike is enough to stagger you, putting you and the princess on. Your blade slashes through the air again and again. We can still turn this around. Finish the job! You and the princess stare at each other. Excuse me? Do you think this is what I wanted to happen? I have a duty. Can you not feel all those ruptured organs bouncing around in there? Okay, let's the just princess, fast the forward this. clash for the final time. You feel your ribs break as she delivers a heavy blow. Oh. Oh. The two of you fall to the Wait, floor. what? Why was it a metal pop sound effect? <laughs> oh. This was fun. The princess gasps. Her voice an unhealthy rasp as her lungs start to fill with blood. You put up more of a fight than I thought you would. But I have to wonder... Do you really think this is the end? But oh. you don't have time to worry over such things. Everything goes dark. Ah, uh, here we go again. Your honor, you're here. Alright, let's go. Oh, she will lie, lying and cheat. Are you sh the point? The Prince Wait. Crystal. Let's just get on with it already. Wait, boys of the stubborn? I think we already had this voice before, no? The cat oh, wow. is tighter than what its the exterior fuck? would suggest. Its cold stone walls press in on you, as if trying to forcefully direct you towards your destination. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Uh... You take... I see. The door to the basement creaks open, it's a cave revealing now. a rough stone staircase. Her fierce voice carries up the stairs. Is that another challenger? Finally. It's been ages since I've had a good fight. What? This isn't what she sounded like last time. Her voice is a little deeper, almost threatening. Good. Sounds like my kind of princess. <laughs> Okay, dude. As much as I appreciate the enthusiasm, just make sure you don't let your bloodlust get to your head. You need to stay focused and keep your wit as you descend. Oh the my step. god! The form of the princess comes into view. A large shackle leading from her wrist to the basement wall. Yeah! <laughs> Looks like she could rip those chains out of the wall without a second thought. Feel free to click on Yo, the subscribe you, button so you got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? Oh, it's you again. I've been hoping you'd find your way back here. Good to see the death doesn't stick for either of us. And you brought your little knife, too. Yes. Oh my god, dude. I'm going to have fun breaking you into little pieces. Please! Please! Uh, so you do remember me. I don't know what happened to you since the last time, but I'm not fighting a giant demon lady. Bye. It should have been me, not him, new Vanish. Fuck it, we slay the bitch, right? Fuck it, we fight. Oh, I remember you all right. Best three minutes of my life. Okay, so, I don't last do that short. Again? I'm, I mean, come on, I don't last that short. Three minutes? I mean, come on, man. That's not, that's not me. That ain't me. That ain't me. You know, I don't last that short. I'm just gonna put that in. See? She wants to fight us again. There's no reason for us to stand around talking. All right, fine. If you're not going to address it, I will. What? You've already met the princess. The princess has already met you. And the two of you killed each other. Maybe. You did seem to just gloss over the whole thing for a while. Of course I glossed over. You okay, don't whatever. Are... Are you... Of course I'm not okay. As far as we're all concerned, the fate of my- Is that Raider? Just, this is gonna be to fucking die, bro. Not all of us have the luxury of jumping over to a parallel universe the second we die. Just because it bothers you, I'm going to take it this even less seriously. You don't know the depths of my apathy? You're joking, right? <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that you're joking. Yeah, you better be joking. We can't win unless you take this seriously. You look different. You look exactly the same. Mm. I'm not saying I'm not here to fight, but I think the two of us have a thing to unpack first. What is there to unpack? I was dead and now I'm not, and the same goes for you. There. Unpacking done. 
All right, shit, man. Don't you get it? We've been given free reign to wail on each other. Forever. Couldn't have said it better myself. All right, well, fuck her, I guess. Finally ready to complete your destined task, you launch off the west. Here we go. Let's make this count. Holy shit. This kinky shit got me busting. Oh, we'll make it count, all right. As you bridge the gap, your blade slashes across the princess's chest, splitting skin and drawing a jagged line of bright red blood. But she's unfazed by your onslaught. Her expression barely changes as her fist collides with your ribs. You can hear her chains snap as you struggle to recover from the impact. She almost looks disappointed in us. What? Why is she disappointed in us? Oh, you don't actually get it, do you? What? That knife may be well, sharp, another but you the clearly shower. don't want to kill me. Uh... It's not fun if you hesitate. It's not fun if you try to trick me and make me bleed out. It's only fun if you go straight for the heart. Okay, shit. Fine. You need to put everything you have into seeing me dead. Or what's the point? So don't be afraid. Don't hesitate. Kill me. Don't let her get in your head. Reincarnation or not, she's huge, but... Don't listen to them. She understands something that they don't. The only way to win, the only way out of this is her. Her. Run? Wait, should I just bathe an opening and outmaneuver her? Fuck it. You push yourself off the ground and attack the princess, trying to bait an opening. You do your best to outplay her, slashing out and leaving red cuts in the face. This little dance isn't working. Just toughen up and overpower her. She's throwing us around like a ragdoll. I think <laughs> overpowering her is a little out of the question. Did you think you could Can we have a porn version of this game? This dancing around is doing nothing but annoying me. I own this place. And I own you. The princess's arm shoots forward, her palm wrapping around your head, fingers gripping your skull. How disappointing. She squeezes, the pressure unbearable as her fingers dig into your scalp. The last thing you hear is the unsettling crack of your skull. Everything goes dark, and you die. Is that chapter three? Really? You're on a path in the wood. If you weren't so damned afraid of what she'd do to you, we wouldn't have died back there. Fear is good. Fear keeps us alive. Voice the haunted. Because you didn't have enough of it. We have another voice. So what? You'd have us cower in a corner? No, but that place suits her better than it suits us. She's big. We can't hope to find holes and openings down there. We need more room. Are you suggesting luring her into the woods? Do you have any idea how thin- Are you not challenging us on all the looping? Have you known about it the whole time? Are you the same one we've been talking to since the beginning? Huh. Sorry to disappoint what I'm sure must feel like a grand revelation, but that's not what's going on here. We've never met. Mm. Then what is going on? What's going on is that you'd only be saying the things you've been saying if you'd already been here. And if you'd already seen things you weren't supposed to have seen, it doesn't matter. We could go in. Yeah, the narrator's forever. being saucy as fuck. Like staying still for too long. Let's get to the cabin. See this through. It's good to know that at least one of you is still capable of reason. We may have the same destination, but we're not the same. You are still an other. I don't trust you. Well, fortunately, you have an entire trip through the woods to reconsider that. There's nothing to reconsider. We're all for violence here, are we? I haven't signed off on anything yet. Violence is the answer here, but the method is equally important to the act. It's like I said. Holy fuck, it's schizophrenia. Instinct tells me we need space, and I trust instinct. Explore, we haven't talked about how different this place is, and I wouldn't even call this woods. I like her influence as pouring into the world. Let's go. It isn't long before you find what the yourself fuck is going on? the path, staring up the hill of the cabin. No last advice for us? No words of warning? What I gather, you've heard it all before. There's no use screaming into the wind. I don't know. Screaming sounds pretty good right about now. Catharsis is what I finish. For now, we need to hold it out in front of us. Something to chase. All right. The interior of the cabin is... It's just a mirror! Tight. 
more of a glorified what? tunnel than a building. Its stone wall, the blade is your implement. You'll need it if you're going to do this right. See, we have even less space than before. We need space or she'll kill us. The only space is out there. Take it. Ah, uh, but there's no way forward. You take the blade from good. All right, let's go. You step forward and approach the door to the basement, hesitating before you open it. As if you don't see it. All we see is a damned mirror. It's a bit grimy. Why don't we wipe it clean? Smash it! You bring your fist crashing down against the door leading to the basement. It swings open, scraping against the floor as it reveals the dim path ahead. Uh oh. Before you is what may as well be a sheer cliff face. The air hissing up from below is warm and wet. Her voice, bold and fierce. Do you have more fight in you than last time? That was such a disappointing show. I know you can do better than that. Oh my god. Order. Rile her up. If she's angry, she'll make mistakes. I know you can get, uh, if you want to fight, then how about you come and get one? That's not how this works. I'm all chained up, remember? How about you come down here and fight me? Those chains were nothing to her last time. And they'll be nothing to her this time. Mm. We need to show ourselves first. Fine by me. You've nowhere to go but down. You start the difficult journey, gripping the stone, lowering yourself foot by grueling. Remember, every crack and crevice will need to be faster than her. Oh? You turn to face what the lies fuck? at the end of the narrow tunnel. The princess, imposing and tightly muscled, grins back at you from the darkness. Her face widens into a broad grin. There you are, knife in hand. How thrilling! Attack me, bleed me, twist the blade in my flesh, break your bones against my body. I want a real challenge this time. Guys, hear me out. Hear me out. We can't get that close. She'll kill us in the tight space, steel claw or not. I really don't like the sound of this. It's the only way we live. Well... What are you waiting for? If we're gonna do this right, you can't be scared. You need to want this as much as I do. I mean, guys, 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 <laughs> guys, 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 I mean. So go on, make the first move. Don't keep me waiting. Ah. Uh... Step closer, stopping outside her chains, slay the princess. What do you guys think? Downter? You step forward, stopping just outside the reach of her chains. The princess scoffs. Oh, you're up to something tricky, aren't you? Mm. You're teasing me with what I want, but I'm sick of waiting. I'm not going to let you give me another bad fight. I'm going to get what I want. Bloody desire in her eyes, the princess rushes forward, ignoring her chains as they bend and snap. Run. Without hesitation, you turn back the way you came and scramble up the ledge towards the tunnel entrance. As you near the tunnel, hands desperately clawing at jagged stone, you glance back. Anywhere you go, I will follow. Good. Reach the ledge and hoist yourself up into the tunnel. The cabin door finds you sight, at once within your grasp and infinitely distant. What is all of this for? What's the point? You and I are always going to end in violence, so why bother to run? I know what I am. Why can't you be the same? Little bird, little bird, where do you think you're going? We're almost there. Don't think about almost. We're there when we're there, and we'll take the fight with us. Your skin hums tight with adrenaline as Jesus. you burst through the cabin door and roll onto the grass. She's so big! The cabin as the princess, singular in her desire to destroy you, explodes through the doorway. You are walking a dangerous path. If you waver once, it's all over. 
so get it right. There's nothing left to slow me down. Do you think this is better for you? Do you think this space gives you an edge? Then show me. Show me that you've been worth all the room you've taken up in my head. Do it. Be swift. Strike true. Be where she's not. Let your body move you. The fuck? You fall it right into my trap! <laughs> what is this fucking Yu-Gi-Oh shit? <laughs> You're falling right into my trap. Oh, we'll see about that. Traps aren't real. The only thing that's real is bloodshed. Oh. Fuck. Charges. Fully determined to end you in a single move. Left. Now. As the princess strikes, your body swerves to the left. She overextends, stumbling as her balance shifts unexpectedly. Strike. Before you can finish the thought, you lash out, the blade slicing through her leg. She turns to swing again. Right. You move out of the way, but this time it's not quite as clean. You can feel a bruise already blooming where her elbow crashed into flesh. It's nothing. A scratch. Yes. It could be worse. And you managed to gift her another cut in return. We're actually going to pull this off, aren't we? Yeah. Just might. But don't let it get to your head. Not until it's over. Yes, finally! This is the hole I've felt in my heart! This is what I've needed! This is what I've been missing! This is how it always needed to end! Both of us giving it our all, beating and bleeding each other to death! Jesus Christ, man! Chill! The two of you engage in a devastating flurry of blows, each is stronger, but you're faster, and the deeper the both of you fall into your lethal dance, the more your edge shines over hers. She's slowing down, blood pouring from wounds, splattering at her feet, leaving her weak and unsteady. More! Oh, keep going! We can't stop! Now! You spy an opening. This time she's waiting for you. She lets you sink the blade deep, trapping you in place long enough to wrap you in her impenetrable arms. Nothing! These blows are nothing to us! But her gambit wasn't enough to close the gap. It wasn't enough to kill you. She stares you down, coughing up a splash of blood as she gasps for breath. <sighs> You've outplayed me, haven't you? I guess. Something feels wrong. Something. And? Then what happens? Oh, the arms. All right. She's gone, and there's that mirror. All right. Let's go to the mirror then. This, yeah. Screw the mirror. We just. Now what happens? Now what? You are nothing at all. But that isn't right. You can't be nothing. I'm a crow? Are you me? I think you know what I am. The narrator? A crack slide on the center of the mirror, splitting the image in the glass of in two. So you the navigator, I was wondering how I get to see you. What are you? Are you something like me? The narrator, yes. I suppose that's my job, isn't it? You needed help after all, an objective voice to guide your blade. But you were never supposed to see me. I wonder how many worlds so he was have a crow. extinction to fall this far. What are you? I'm sorry I don't want to destroy you. I will help you. Uh, every time I ask you for like something, it's like a piece breaks. I haven't. And that's by both necessity and design. So he's a crow? This construct you're in exists in many places at once. Any time you failed, any time you thought yourself dead, it would restart and shunt both your consciousness and- But you'll be awake soon. And then it won't be able to work like that anymore. Alright, fuck it. You already know what you are. You are the long, quiet, abashed, and na nasus god. And it's finally time for you to wake up. All this for you. Let's to the cabin one last time. 
When you are out of the heart of the things, there is no final blessing for you to bear witness to. There's nothing for you to find. Oh? What the fuck? I can finally see you. And you can finally see me. It's been so long. And my heart has ached for this moment. I've missed you dearly. I miss you too! Names are their attempts to capture that which cannot be captured. So what happened? They call me the Shifting Mound. A pale imitation of what I actually Shifting am. Mound. Ever the passive player, always reacting and never acting. But it's woven into your nature, isn't it? When the Echo spun us from one into two, he gave you a choice and me a role to play. I am not death, but I contain it in my multitudes. So, will you attempt to destroy me and bring about a world devoid of death? and the possibility of meaning? Or will you open the final doors mm. to our liberation? So am I a simp or am I not? I think it's time for us to leave this place, but I don't know how to leave or where to go. Fuck it. Nothing brings me greater joy than to hear those words. The final peace lies with you. You fall into yourself. The body of an ancient creature steers from its hibernation. You have a sensation in your limbs you once couldn't fathom. Every, everything here except for her is you. You, fi you feel your wings and span- wait, my wings. You can feel the glass of the construct pressing on you, confining you across infinite sides, infinite angles. You push back and strain against it, but it does not yield. I love you. Guys, goodbye. It's been nice. At all once, a yielding tension breaks. What the fuck is going on? You are free and she is with you. What in the it's hell? It's magnificent. What the fuck is going on? So this is what Sansa felt like. No, this is more like acid. From <laughs> to be honest, you actually step towards a thousand dawns and a thousand sunsets. You exist and you are aware, but you've always been, and you just will be always be. Though conflicts in your nature, the two of you will never be alone, and the two of you will never know fear. You and I, you and she, and she are finally home. That's the ending? Well, that was definitely an interesting game. Mr. Stream, I wasn't done yet, what the fuck? Done it. His girlfriend became real. Nah. Well, that was fucking awesome. I wonder how many endings of different that like, dude. I, I explored five different things, but I wonder how many things have I not seen? Because I'm assuming that there's like probably like a thousand different ways things could differently go. And also apparently there's few endings too. Honestly guys, honestly, from 1 out of 10, what do you give this game? Like an easy 9, right? Uh, yeah, I agree, like a 9. The voice acting is pretty good too. I know the voice actor was in my chat, I hope, I don't know if she's still here, but... The voice acting is really, really, really good too. 
I think what I like about this game is that it gives me Stanley Parable vibes. It gives you like massive Stanley Parable vibes and it's very creative. Yeah, I think the only problem is that the audio music is kind of trash. Unfortunately, I think I might have a new fetish now as a mage. Yeah, this game, I think this is the best game I played when it comes to this genre at least. I like the fact that it was voice acted, it was properly voice acted. Like every single time, like at the beginning of the game, I thought it like... Dude, at the beginning of the game, like when I started playing the game, right? I was like, eh, this looks kind of eh. But then once I finished the first game, I was like, wait a minute, this is really cool. So once I said there's apparently 11 endings. There's 11 endings? Holy. 11 endings. That's crazy if it does. Yeah. Yeah, this is a really good game. I'm gonna be honest. I'm being honest. If you if if like if you want to play this game, I 100% suggest this game. This was on a like, it was one of the few games that I, I I was actively playing, and I thought to myself, okay, but what happens next? What happens next? What happens next? And I feel like it's a lot of shit that I skimmed through it because I mean I kind of want to play Gartic Phone today, but it was generally a good game. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. It was one of the better games I played. I'm not gonna lie. Feel free to click on the subscribe button. See, we got a Twitch Prime sub available, huh? And the name is called Slated Princess. Honestly, that's why, that's why I reviewed this game. Why not? I, I rarely do, but I'll leave one for this point. Pocket. Princess, we're supposed to save her. You're supposed to slay her. Or she'll go on to destroy the so I took away from this. Understand is that in order to get a hot, tall, you muscular dummy mommy, I need to find the prettiest women and engage her in a fight to the death over and over again. This really gives me a new perspective. 10 slash 10 game. 10 out of 10 game, 0 out of 10, no sexing. Such. Valid. Yeah, this was amazing, dude. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. Does this game have negative reviews? Five negative reviews, really. However, the voice actress selection for the business completely ruins it for me. How? That I, th I thought the voice acting was like the best part. Nah. Coming from a person called Hanging with Sayori. I used to be good at FPS. Now I'm old and married and will not recommend. No, bro, if you're old and married, I got a suggestion right for you. Of course this retard plays... No, fuck this stupid clown. How do I reply to that comment saying, and I tell him to kill himself? Look at his groups, what are his groups? <laughs> I fell in love with people based on their anime avatars. No girls allowed on this tree fort. I wrestle with many creatures such as hiders and bears. Holy fuck. This guy needs to end his life. He's a Destiny 2 play. He's a Destiny 2 player. Where, 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 where? Nah, this man 100% Destiny 2. My brother in Christ. This is this is why this is why we shouldn't give. We should, should. This is why we shouldn't let people give their opinions. This game was awesome, dude. I I, I really like this game. You know, and I kind of want to. It makes me want to replay it. It makes me want to replay it for just to see different endings and shit. Like, this is really good. Like, I, I'm gonna be honest, I was expecting like a five to a six, but it ended up being a really cool game. I'm, I'm actually really happy about this game.
Yeah, that was really fun. I'm not gonna lie. 